Egrios is dead. Through the, through the actions of himself and the misactions of others, he's deceased. <laughs> and then there's Chunky. He's dead. Every, everyone else was so upset and worried about him as those who killed him parted off his body, his corpse, they decided to take an eight-hour nap. So everybody is fully rested. And it is now several hours later. And when they went to take their rest, it was actually like uh, 6 a.m. So it'll be eight hours later. So midday, everyone awakens. And what would you like to do? Where are we? How Ariana, long have I been awake. asleep? You're awake! You get a massive bear hug, like whirlwind of satyr hooves and cloth onto you in a second. Um, you notice um, a Leonin that appears to look, it could be Adrastos, except Adrastos had a perfectly good mane, and now there's no mane on Adrastos' head. Uh, and 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 the the centaur guy's missing. Yes. <laughs> what what happened? A great deal. Uh, I remember pretty was, bad. All I remember was I was on horseback or on Vara's horse form back and and then nothing. What happened that that night? Did we finally get the rings back to where they, they, they were supposed to be? Rings? Not yet. I um I made a mistake. And um well, we were traveling and a wave of energy due to some fighting knocked a few of you out. Um, and of course, the Drastos was still uh, missing at this point, or not missing, but um, on his quest. And we found out that there was fighting in a village or something. There was this, uh, what we came to know as a specter. Um, chasing some children. It turned out that rings had been stolen from a temple. So I was able to um, acquire one of those rings. I found it tossed into the ocean. Uh, only one initially. And when we went to return it to the temple, um, well, the temple was called the Temple of Dead Lovers. And I assumed that I was taking a Marvel-esque ring and Vara would go ahead and pull out the one that she just retrieved from the ocean and kind of hold it up for example. Um, kind of like spinning it around, fidgeting, not wanting to make eye contact with anyone. And um, Well, I expected to be placing the rings upon some symbolizing statues or or in an offering plate or, or something similar, but uh, the preserved by magic corpses lay on an altar and they were in pain and they didn't even know they had died, but they were beheaded during their wedding and have just been preserved for who knows how long unaware of their fate, these temple guardians ignorant of their pain, and um, I started a fight that I shouldn't have because of my faith, and we were chased out by the specters. And that chase continued all the way back here, and uh, Adrastus rejoined, and I think Ptolemais was knocked out. We had, uh, we all, sustained pretty heavy blows. The temple guardians are very, very strong. Um, and, um, well, I 
got cornered a bit by uh, the strongest of the specters and Adrastus and Agrius came to my assistance and I thought that I would be able to help or stop it or, or do something if I could find the other ring and I could make it right because I had placed the ring and, and um, that was the main thing he was looking for and felt like maybe if I made peace and showed that in the entrance of Athrios I would return their belongings and they would still be linked by their 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 wedding rings um so I dove into the sea which was the place that I assumed and uh followed the scent for where the other ring had gone turns out it had been thrown in the ocean at the same time but had been um taken very far into the ocean much farther than I thought I would have had to travel and um I made the assumption that Adrastus and Agrios would be able to handle themselves. And um, by the time I came back, uh, I had nearly died and it turned out I was wrong. And that's where we are. So I have unfinished business with this ring. I still need to take it back, um, but it was my fault. No. Don't take the burden onto yourself alone, Vara. We were all, all would have done the same in different circumstances. We've never chastised Agrios for his worship of Mogus at inopportune times. We've never chastised Tikros for her curiosity. We'll not chastise you for following your faith. What Where happened, is happened. Agrios's body was taken to the temple by the spirits. At least that's as far as I know, and he looks to Tikros. As far as I know from what was told, I unfortunately was physically incapacitated and then mentally incapacitated. In fact, I think I owe my life to Tikros, and I don't think I ever properly thanked you for that, Tikros, so. Oh, that feels very nice on the inside. And I like your new hair. And yes, we have to go to the temple and get Agrius back. Because that's where they took him. Have you returned the second ring? No, it's I still have it. That is I the only, second part of our quest. I only just acquired it um, before everything happened. All right, let's go. Now, there's a good chance that we are not going to be well met at the temple. I killed the people that they swore to protect. So I don't know if we want to be stealthy or try to plead. Or I, I, I don't know what the best approach is, but just simply walking up and handing over the ring probably isn't going to be a possibility. Well, Ptolemaeus and I were the ones that weren't there. We maybe haven't been seen. Do you they, want to give us the ring? They saw me. I was there. It would only be you, Ariana. You're the only one they don't know. She'll hold her hand out. I'll pass it over. Um, don't. I, I wouldn't recommend putting it on. I've never been a jewelry I've... person myself. Yeah, I figured you're smarter than that, but just in case, um, I wouldn't recommend it. First time I've ever heard that sentence. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back. No, she'll, wait. She'll head no. off in completely the wrong direction. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm coming with you. We're waiting very close by. We are We're not all separating coming with you. again. Yeah. No one's going off on their own again. Okay. Yeah, we could stay in the village and stay behind and. I mean, Tikaros never really did any wrong. And from what I understand, like you said, Tikaros must have saved your life. I mean, I watched you stealth after them without a trace. And obviously you were able to convince one of the specters not to kill Adrastos. So I don't, I don't think they would perceive you as something bad necessarily. Yeah. But we'll all be close by. I, Perfect. I, like to help some of the villagers if possible if they're real 
I think they're real. They might also be ghosts, I don't know. But um, some of them were injured while we were trying to get away by the specter. So um, maybe we could busy ourselves about the village, but still be close by. Mm -hmm. that sounds perfect to me. Um, yeah, let's go. It's the opposite way, by the way. <laughs> Part will start walking. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and follow her back. <clears throat> we'll make a slight concerned eye at Adrastos, but not say anything and continue on. <laughs> uh, I think maybe should we ask Prime to bring the cart with us? Because I certainly can't carry a Grios. Mm. Just a thought. It's a good idea. We should we should bring the cart. I can carry a Agrios for a short distance, but the specters would have seen the cart, so we wouldn't want to bring it all the way to the temple. At least not immediately. I can at least for a short while take Agrios fine. They may even be willing to help if they're willing to give them a call. Mm-hmm. I am unwilling to let them keep his corpse. We will try diplomacy first. <clears throat> Head off. I'll follow. To take the cart, uh, the route you would need to take would be back up a ways to the small trail that leads up, uh, rather than the cross country that you all took getting to the cliffside uh, when running from the temple originally. So as Prime will get the cart turned around now that the horses are conscious again as well, and will begin making his way up that trail. As you make your way towards the village, you reach the point where you'd cro the group that was running crossed through the village. They were being pursued by the Minotaur. And you can see where trees have been knocked down, knocked aside as you begin to close in on the village. And once you arrive in the village, you see several bodies that have been stacked. And one of the rangers, the not the one you'd met before, one of the others, is uh, assisting with arranging these bodies. And as you pull into the village, there's really no good way to get the cart past this point, and everybody stops and looks at you, and there's a mixture of, there's sadness, but there are a few people who actually look like they might be a bit angry at your group. Mm -hmm. Sounds valid at this point, but... So Prime pulls up on the horses to stop them. I, I believe this is as far as uh, the cart is going to go. All right, Figaro's. Okay. We'll be right back. As you dismount, I'm going to put some words into the uh, ranger's mouth as he looks up and, um, who are you? And I will let him take over. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, hi, I'm Ariadne Vakros. Hold out a hand. Mm. He sort of regards her hand for a moment, uh, um, almost looking her up and down, kind of studying her, and then reaches forward and takes it with a firm shake. Uh, this is Tikaros. Pleasure to meet you. You as well. Can we pass? An elderly man walks up and kind of touches the ranger on the arm. And, um, I believe these are the people who caused the trouble. Uh, this what is true. In all technicality, those are the people that caused the trouble. Who is she pointing at? Oh, I see. The, the rest of the group. 
hi me this bitch <laughs> not 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 vara specifically hence the plurality those people which technically i'm a part of but i'm not going to mention that <laughs> so you are shifting blame onto your companions um well to be perfectly fair i thought it would help me get past you but i guess that's not going to happen yes i am part of those people um but we are trying to make it right what exactly happened that's a question for uh, uh, Tikros. Do you want to explain, maybe? Well, this is a lot to tell you, but basically, we messed up the temple accidentally with the dead people and the rings. But my amazing friend Vara has recovered the rings and we're trying to take them back. I see. And make it uh, right. I feel like I cut off the old man. What else was he saying? <laughs> no, no, that was good. It was perfectly good. <laughs> you you have you have both of the rings? The the they have one, right? Uh one was already returned. And G they give me we... the other one. Give it to me. Uh, they took our friend. We would like them back. As it stands, this is our only bargaining chip for that. What bar bargaining chip? You've destroyed a temple that has stood for over three hundred years, and you want a bargaining chip? Uh, we want our friend back. Is what look I at want. my village. Look at the people who have died because of your actions, and you want a bargaining chip? She'll hold it out. He will snatch it from you. Adrastus is going to jump past. down and just start walking. She, yeah. Yes. Our Ariana's already pushing past. Like, like he's he's tired of this. He's like, all right, yeah. nope, you had your turn. My turn. <laughs> hmm. yeah, if no one stops her, she's continuing, but she's going to walk past these two. As <clears> is Adrastus. Just standing there looking at the coin, at the uh, the ring. Um, be before you take it, could I say a quick prayer over it? No, you've done enough. Well, we we were hoping to help in any way we could. Can you bring these people back? No, that's... I mean, we're a small village. We have ten people dead. Eleven, counting his his companion. I would, I would be happy to help with burial, um, coin for passage, uh, anything I can. Coins for passage. So my character has a passive perception of twenty four. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. all right. Can I, can I can I pick out? Can I sort of pick out enough details to figure out that they probably lost one of their number as well? Assuming I didn't hear them talking. Well, they the did mention that that they had taken one of their people. Uh, right, they, did right, not, right. they did not mention alive or dead. So, uh, right, I can tell I that the Leonin has uh, shaved his mane, which I imagine they wouldn't normally be inclined to do unless they were suffering terrible grief or of some sort. Yes, I'm because eventually going to speak up. Okay, Sorry. I was going to say, if anybody has any reason to say he would not be able to recognize the sadness and loss in your group, say so. Otherwise, I'm going to say, yeah, absolutely. No, no the, I mean... the fact that there is a shorn Leonin is probably a pretty big... Yeah, I, I'd assume Vara is still tear-streaked, and she's all, everything she's saying is obviously very heavy and with guilt. So, yeah, I think, I think that's a fair... It's obvious to me that they have also lost one of their number. I think they regret their actions, for what it's worth. No, they regret their actions. We've 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 got an angry spirit that that's tear, tearing up our village. They almost killed you the other night, and now they your I recall your, your friend. Yes, and that is a very dear loss. But I would prefer that we found a way for us to work together and make things a little better. 
and for us to be at odds and dwell on bitterness. I don't care. I just, and she, he will put the, the ring into your hand. I don't wish to see them again. I've got too much here. Would you please see this to the temple? Yes, I will. And he... What of the two children? What of the two children that stole the rings and tossed them into the sea? Were they of your village? Yes, they were. And had you not interfered, we would have gotten the rings Had back. we it was just not the interfered, the ring night. would not would not have been able to return the rings whatsoever. And the chaos would happen just the same. Well, it hardly matters now. No. Have they returned, though? And he's going to look through the bodies laying on the ground in his room. I don't see them. But not everyone's Can I here. see if I see them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wouldn't necessarily know which children they were. Mm, fair enough. They, what did they, they look like? Who um, are you asking? It was a uh, boy and a girl. Uh, there was a woman with them as well, but it was hard to tell whether or not she was alive or a specter. We had seen a couple of different ghostly figures throughout the night um they were i don't know about 10 maybe at this point adrasus will have stopped walking ariana hasn't <laughs> all right um and he is going to very slowly turn on the elder and in a calm and measured voice say the children who stole the rings. The boy and the girl. Would you like to know what fate my friend's death fought for them? Saved them from? And he's very slowly walking towards the Elder at this point, at his full height. Uh, Hyrax is going to step between them before he actually reaches the Elder, just trying to make sure that things stay peaceable here. Oh, Adrastos doesn't have any weapons drawn. He's just walking. Fair enough. The spirits that you revere, this temple that you hold in such high esteem, they wanted to take the children. Ten-year-old children, your guardian spirits wanted them dead. The blood of our friend bought their life. And you say you do not care. You humans are pathetic. And he's going to turn and walk towards the temple. And uh, as you're walking away, you hear as the old man turns to others in the village. Uh, um, find the children and uh, bring them to the temple. I offer my help once more, but understand Your help is not it's... needed. Okay. Irony that we also ran through the village, yet None of us has caused any death and destruction. And now we are the ones chastised for causing this death and destruction. And, and the spirits. He appeased. is going, the old man turns around and just face beat red with anger. Caused no tr You destroyed the bodies of two sacred. You. St <sighs> Get out of my village. I'm going to follow Ariana and walk through. It's going to turn to Hyrax. You. I don't want them coming back through this village at all. 
I'll watch them. If they step foot in this village again, I want them dead. I understand. And he's going I to will leave back. you to your morning. And he will turn back towards the cart. And, get, get the cart out of here. You don't belong here. I'll, so, I'll, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I, as I'm walking, I hear that, and I'll turn to the ranger, and I just follow us if you have to. But surely you understand that all of us are grieving. Every single one of us. Nobody has come out of the better of it. And I see. the reasoning. The reasoning being presented here. Appeasement. For those not living. And I'll just continue walking from there. So Adrastos is walking at speed. So he would probably catch up with and overtake Ariana eventually. Okay. Actually, sorry. I think after walking a few steps up, I'll probably pause and turn once more to the ranger and just I apologize for your friend what was their name Tam what was my friend's name <laughs> one moment I've actually got the <laughs> page <laughs> oh that should have been easy to remember Aaron uh, Aaron E-I-R-O-N, for those who wonder how it's spelled. Not that it matters, he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Ours was Agrios. And I'm sorry about your friend's death as well. And life moves on. So it does for the rest of us. It seems I've been tasked with this ring. Then, regardless of what sort of claims the village elder wanted for you, our paths do lead the same way. For the time being, at least. My name is Hyrax, by the way. Ptolemaeus. I was like, and that, I'll let, I'll let everybody else introduce themselves. We're still here. Let's go, Prime. Hyrax, this is Prime. Prime's actually going to be, Prime's actually going to be reversing the wagon to get it out of there. So <laughs> I assume everybody okay. else is off the wagon. But I guess Tikaros yeah. uh, still like gestures to him. Yeah. He regards Prime a little, with a little quirk of his head. I've never actually seen an anvil rod before. Oh, wow. He's so nice. And he's or learning least, magic. And he's great. At least I've never met one like this. You say he's learning magic? He's really smart. Hmm. He seems a little unsure. Uh, do I notice this at all? Or are you, you trying to hide a, that? Do you have a 24 passive perception? Definitely not a 24. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm counting on my insight instead because of kind of I'm, looking I'm, at him. I'm, and I'm I have a passive 18. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. So, um, I'll just kind of make a mental note of it and... Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just make it a mental note of it for now. Once Adrastos gets, because he'd be the first, once he gets close to the temple, close enough to the temple where he can see it, he's going to stop and wait because he doesn't want to be the first one in there. Because he doesn't trust himself. <laughs> All right, so you're, you are alongside Ariana? Or did you two? I overtook Ariana. I'm. Okay. I walk a little faster than her. Okay. Ariana doesn't stop. She continues. 
right, so I will put you both at the steps to the temple that lead up to it. And let me get you all on that map. There we go. And then let me get the map to load up in roll 20 properly. Just a moment. Come on. That time it was um, OBS, not roll 20. All right. As she passes, um, Adrastus is just going to say, Ariana, mind the Minotaur. It's unlike any foe I've ever faced. She'll acknowledge, she won't acknowledge it, but she heard you. Just going to keep going. That will get you to the top of the steps if you want to go ahead and put your token on there. And there is a very long walkway that is lit by candles. Um, do I, I didn't really, I would heard this is the dead lovers or whatever. Do I know anything about this kind of a temple? Like, is there a protocol for approaching it or? It's. Seems to be a very open temple. You can tell from some of the the sigils around it, it is a temple to Afara. Okay. Okay. And you know what? Roll me a perception check. Okie dokie. Of course, this rolls well. Um... <laughs> This this dice spent all extra long weekend rolling ones for me, and now it rolled a 19. <laughs> um, 23. All right. Um, as you step into it, you can hear some conversation <clears throat> from the far end, and you notice very far down this path, there's two figures on top of this dais. That it's kind of a two-layer two steps up and there's an altar at the top and they appear to be fussing around the body of a centaur that is laid on top of this at the foot of the steps is what appears to be a very large minotaur all right uh sounds good uh she's gonna keep walking Quick question, are the rest of us following, by the way? Or just, just kind of continuing on behind them? I'm staying at the feet of, or the foot of the temple. Okay. So, so should you can be, go ahead and put your token own. there. The rest yeah, of you I'll would be a bit out. behind because they took off well before you. Got it. And there's no um, reaction as you approach, Ariana. The, okay. the the Minotaur is actually facing towards the altar. Uh, on your left. And I'm going to walk around him. And she gets his right. see as he turns and looks at you and just has this very sad look on his face. Um, in fact, it's kind of a, a sadness. You've, you've seen other Minotaurs with a recent sadness on their face. <laughs> it, it looks very similar. In fact, uh, with that perception roll, I'm going to say this this Minotaur actually seems familiar to you somewhat. Do you have a brother? I have many brothers. Had before I died. Sisters, too. Is this is this a live looking? Oh no, they're they're ghosties, aren't they? Right, you can tell. Right. He definitely appears to be a spirit in some form. Huh. Um. Well, I'm gonna grab my brother and just walk past. Right, and he's just gonna watch as you. Uh up the steps yeah uh, i will walk up to the two fussing over the centaur and look and see if it's agrios as you put foot on the second set of stairs the one in the front 
the in this case he looks a little uh starry <laughs> yeah. tried to find better tokens so that you can actually see him last time we had some issues with that so uh, turns and looks back what are you doing this is the sacred part of the temple you shouldn't be up here neither should he so i'm taking him oh with that he turns and bows up your what I'm taking him. No, you are not. He now belongs to the temple. Mm, so you and I are going to have a disagreement about that. Disagree all you want. I'd, I'd really rather not. I'd really just take him, rather take him. The other spirit up there uh, looks like a satyr. In fact, this satyr looks very familiar to you. If the hair color was different, uh, you could swear it's almost a ghost-like form of Ticarus. Hmm. Does this other one look like anybody? Not anyone you know. Okay. Just a, a very angry human in ghost form. Yes, Tam, I see. Yes. Can I hear this exchange? Uh, you're a pretty good distance away, but if this is your entire focus, I'll say yes, because I don't think they're being quiet. Especially, okay, I'm... definitely when, uh, when the one says, no, you're not going to take anything, you know, you're not doing this. I almost said over my dead body, but I thought that would be too Okay, <laughs> I'm going to, not at speed, but I'm going to start, you know, shield on arm, walking towards the DS. Um, your ring is coming. So I figured maybe we can give you that and we'll take him. No. And the other one, the Satar is going to look over at you. Um, I'm afraid he has been claimed and she'll hold up his hand and you'll see that it's got the ring. And we're waiting on the other ring so that we can put a partner on the altar with him and maybe reinstate the magic that held this place. And she smiles. So what kind of, what do you, you just need a body? Well, specifically, a recently dead body that has not been fully dead, that has not been claimed by Atheros. And he will lay here, and she gently strokes through Agrios's hair, and he will lay here forever at peace. He wouldn't like that. So there's a whole whack of bodies down the hill that are people that actually want to be here. So how about? Instead of you dealing with him, who probably doesn't want to be here, he is definitely a fighter, not a lover. And it would probably be best if you let him go. The male ghost is going to look at you. And how about you join him? Oh, no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Ariana's going to pull her sword. <laughs> and as is address those, and he's going to start trundling up <laughs> i think the next words you would hear would be the minotaur as he lets out this snort of angry breath and says roll initiative oh i hope uh, he actually says that that's amazing i'm gonna get my dice ariana we're gonna die we're, oh we're absolutely going to that's die. a nat one hold on I need my real dice. The digital dice killed me last night. All right, time. I'm going to have to add people in. If you don't click on your token and then do it, I will have to add you in. So just bear with me while I do this. I did just click on my ahead. token and roll it, and it still didn't do it. I yeah. Yeah, I, that's I, right. I need everyone to roll initiative, or do you I need to have a token. Might as well have. Actually, I added a character sheet for you and assigned it to you and put a temporary token on it. Oh, there's a temporary token. Let's see what it is. So, it's just an archer. 
all I could find that was halfway decent. That'll work Sorry. for now, despite the fact that I do not use a bow. Well, you know. Love that. I, I figured I, I figured there was a spear, a sword, and a bow, so I picked the one that I thought would be most obvious, which would be the wrong one, and I was correct. So. <laughs> okay, so uh, I see other people coming in there, so give me just a minute here oh, as I, I go it. and manually update these. Uh, Ariana, what did I'm you get? A one, you said? Is that correct? Yep. Um, a two total. Oh, a two, okay. Well, you yeah. know, that one point could make all the difference in the world. Absolutely. Adrastos. Adrastos. 15. 15. Yeah, I know. A high initiative for once. It'll never happen again. <laughs> Do I question, would I have had time, because I've kind of decided to start this in altercation, what'd you roll? Remember I said yes! one, I said a number could <laughs> yes! make a big difference? <laughs> nice. Amazing. Would I, would I have had time to channel divinity? It's a bonus action. Uh, if no, it's fine. I'm just curious if I have time. Yeah, since you were drawing the sword and that kind of started everything, I think absolutely you would be able to do that. Cool. I'm going to do that. Sam, could you add me as well? Um, I rolled a okay. physical dice. I got a 12. All right, give me just a second to get that window. So back this open. week, your fighter is going to remember that he can second wind. And not die immediately this time. Yay. I'm. So, I was so embarrassed when I remember that. I was like, "Oh my god, this could have changed everything." <laughs> okay, so do we have everybody in here? Because if mm -hmm. so, I'm going to yeah, sort it. I got a five. All right. All right. I sorted it. We have our turn order up there, and I think we are good. So with that. Adrastos, you're up first. Hmm. Okay. Would I have gotten a chance to move any further since I was kind of walking and drawing my sword before initiative began? Uh, let's put you about right there. Perfect. That I just needed I needed space. to be one square closer, and I am. <laughs> All right. Nice. Um. All right. How about a nice slice of vengeance? <laughs> um, okay. Is, is, that warm vengeance? is that warm vengeance or cold vengeance? Because you know. Uh, well, it's best served cold, but I don't like this guy, so it's warm. All right. It's room, lukewarm. It's room, room temperature, temperature it's vengeance. Been sitting on the counter for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's been sitting there for a day or two. I've been meaning to take it out. Just trash cans full. Um. Oh. Okay. So if I remember correctly, if I recall correctly, I have disadvantage to attack this man. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Great. Ah, uh, okay. Well, superiority die. So I can just roll normally. All right. Where is my dice tray? There it is. You know what? No. These dice betrayed me last time. I'm going to let the <laughs> digital dice you give them one chance. Twenty-two. That is a hit. Ooh. All right. Wait. And that will be twelve damage. And what type of damage is that? It is slashing. Slashing damage. All right. And then attack the second. All right. With disadvantage. Oh, butts. <clears throat> 11. Uh, that's a miss. That's okay. Um, cool. Uh, that'll be it for me. All right. Uh, everyone else, uh, I'm going to have you sit out this first round because you wouldn't quite have made it there. So I'm just going to skip past you for this moment. All right. So, um, Ariana, you drew your sword. And immediately the the male figure just kind of bows up at you a bit and <sighs> fine, it's being dead helps anyway. And he is going to immediately move off in this direction. 
her. The other one is going to step forward. You you really you really don't want to do this. He's getting into his Gundam. Don't don't <laughs> don't don't make us hurt you. Just leave in peace. It's just a body. You don't need it. And Ariana, you're up. I am going to take one, two steps forward. Grab Agrios because my current lifting capacity is 420 pounds. So but I think have I have a, a sword. You have a sword in your hand, though. That's fine. I will drop <laughs> it if I have to. Okay. Yeah, I'll drop my sword and I will grab Agrios and I'm going to run. Okay. So I, I'm anxious to see how this positions as you're carrying a horse, man. She's, yes, she's actually, so she's going to take her, her sword and the Tikaro's looking sadder. She's going to throw the sword to kind of catch her off guard. Okay. Reach around her, grab Agrios and just huff out of there. So um, <laughs> how much, how much can I move? Yeah, just fully over the I, shoulders. I see, like, uh, you, got, you got him by the four horse legs and his human yeah. body. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just falling in his dragging, His hair down. is just dragging on the ground. <laughs> exactly. Ariana's um, pretty tall, but not I, that tall. I'm, He's going to be put, in a terrible state. I think this is going to make uh, movement difficult for you, so I'm going to have <laughs> your speed. Okay. Um, is that count? Is Agrios counting as an object interaction or an action? Uh, I'm going to count him as an action to pick him up and Fantastic. situate him in a, in some manner that you don't conk his head on everything. Cool. So I moved 10, so I'll move 10 back out this way. All right. And you threw the sword at her, and it kind of went through. Yeah. And she reaches down and picks it up and throws it at you. Fantastic. <laughs> and misses horribly. <laughs> Probably from the distraction <laughs> of the flopping uh, <laughs> human torso behind. <laughs> yes. That'll be the pack of opportunity there. The Minotaur, having uh, oh, been hit by Adrastos, is going to turn around look down and just blow steam out of his nostrils. No one's going to stop me from killing you this time, you little puny runt! And I will meet my ancestors smiling. You'll never say the same, corpse! Holy shit. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Because uh, I I am I rolled both attacks, okay? Both die rolled the exact same value. And that would be an eleven, which isn't gonna hit anything. <laughs> so uh he swings at you a couple of times and uh just doesn't make good hits. Maybe he's too angry. I don't know. But Adrastos, you're up. I'm not going to taunt him because anger has become focus. Uh, with the exception of calling him a corpse and saying he's never going to meet his ancestors. But, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to taunt him. I did just no, taunt him. under the bridge. <laughs> no big deal. And I will I'll... taunt you for a second time. <laughs> I'll exp yeah, I'm not going to taunt him again. I'll expend another superiority die to go ahead and try to whap him again. All right. Whap away. I don't think that hits 12. Uh, actually, it does. Oh, fantastic. Love that. So that... And that was a disadvantaged roll, I assume. It was. Okay. Oh, yeah. no, it was not because um, I gave oh, myself see. advantage. Cool. Yep. So that is 11 slashing damage. All right. This one will be at disadvantage. I'm mm -hmm. going to use physical dice for this and see if they can... That hits with disadvantage. It's a fourteen. All right, awesome. Who? Uh, for eleven slashing damage. All right. 
So again, you've fought this guy before, so you realize the damage you do is not going to show up as effectively as what you would think it would do, but you definitely see three slashes that have opened up across this creature. And it looks um, like and it's then making him angrier. I'll just say, I, I'll say to him in Minotaur, I don't wish to fight you, but we're taking the body. All right. And uh, Tigaros, you have arrived at the steps, and when you reach the top of the steps, you see Adrastos fighting the Minotaur, and you see Ariana carrying Agrius. I should have known this would happen. This was supposed to be a stealth mission, a diplomatic mission, and look what happened. It started with diplomacy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my word. Negotiations have failed. Oh, okay. I am going to use my action to cast Mage Armor on myself. Very good. As I see all this happening. And that's my action. I'm not going to move in. I'm just going to crouch here near the door and wait to see if I can help Ariana as she's running with Agrius's body next round. That's me. Very good. Olimaeus. We're not seeing this to the end again, are we? And I'll just get up a little bit further around here. And let's see, hold on. Is this? Yeah, that's fine. And, um, yeah, with that, I will look towards the, the situation and I'll just kind of direct everything and I'll just be like, address those, just keep doing what you're doing. Ariana's about to get, get the body back and, um, give you inspiration for that. Hey, thanks. Yeah. It's going to be a D8 a, for the next time. A D8. Hey. Yeah. Love there it. Go. Thank there you. We go. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for me. All right. Rex. I'm going to have a hard time uh, not calling you Agrios every time. <laughs> that's okay. We'll get there. Um, all right. So I see all this fighting going on. I'm not, I don't have a personal involvement, but you know. I should probably help out because I do want to return this ring and everything um, or something. I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now. Uh, but definitely, I don't want these people to get killed. These these people that I just met. Uh, That's rather kind of you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you are welcome. You feel a strange bond with them as if you're all sitting at a table playing a game together. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Like a complete 180 from, uh, from Agrios who would join in <laughs> to kill us. No. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, we'll it's never like know. If there's now. a Minotaur attacking us, he would side <laughs> with the Minotaur. But, uh, in, in, his, in his head, Agrios is like, well, looks like somebody's working for that armband. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I, uh, I will run up uh, there and throw a javelin at I'll throw a javelin <laughs> at the minotaur i mean I, I don't see any other enemies nearby right uh just the two uh well the one up by the altar yeah but he has has he attacked anybody yet i guess he has uh she has thrown ariana's threw, sword yeah. back at ariana so oh wow all right so that was rude but i'm gonna focus on this minotaur right <laughs> <How> now. <rude>! <laughs> <laughs> She was just uh, trying to give the sword back to her. Exactly. Back exactly. To her. Right in back. the back. <laughs> in the back. All right. Let's uh let's roll that first die. And this will be a disadvantaged attack. Oh, that's right. It is disadvantaged. I hate that. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I rolled a 17 and a 16 plus six is a 22. Okay. There. There's no reason to show off. It's a hit. <laughs> Sorry. Just a little flex. Just a little flex. <laughs> the twelve hits. <laughs> just a little flex as a treat. 
however, that first damage die is only going to be four piercing. Cool. Um, All right. However, I get to make an extra attack still. All right. As your that. javelin hits, you see as it hits the Minotaur in the shoulder and slows down but doesn't stop as it passes through him and clatters to the ground behind him. It passes through, so it didn't do any damage? No, it did. Oh, it okay. absolutely did, but it slowed down as it hit him, and you can see where it did it, but it passed on through. Uh, he immediately draws a second javelin and throws that. Okay. Um, for uh, 16 to hit. And that's a hit. All right. And that is a little better, but only a little. That's a... Uh, Five piercing damage. All right. And then, because this is the first round of combat, I get it. I believe I get to make an, one last attack, which also has a 1d8 attached to it. Are you a dread ambusher or I a might, gloom stalker? I, I believe I am a gloom stalker. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love a gloom stalker. I love gloom stalkers. And that is an 18 to hit. That's a hit. With, right, so that, is, uh, that is 12 piercing damage that time. So 4 plus 5 plus 12 is 21 total that I've done to him this turn. And when, you, when that one hits, again, it hits and it, it slows and passes through. But that one, he kind of, it hits him on the right shoulder. And he kind of flexes his arm a little bit. <clears throat> Is that it for your turn? Some sort of magic on this guy. Yes, that's my turn for now. All right. The first the thing is going to... Go ahead, sir. The only thing I forgot to do was cast Hunter's Mark on him before I did any of that stuff, but oh well. <laughs> that's life. All right. So the statue that was stand whoops, it's the wrong statue. Let's grab this right one here. Up, oh, hang on a second. My tokens are not tokening properly. Come on. I tried to get better tokens for the statues too. <laughs> so let's try that again. Uh, from the corner of the room, a statue comes lumbering out onto the uh, altar. Meanwhile, the other Eidolon, the female, the satyr, is going to step up closer to Ariana and let out a horrendous yell. Just die! That echoes. And everyone within 60 feet of her, I am going to need a wisdom saving throw, please. So that's going to be Adrastos and Ariana, I believe, is it. I'm bad at those. That's a that's dirty song. 20. <laughs> well, somebody's not bad at them then. <laughs> no, it was, it was almost an 8. <laughs> not, that's a 12. Uh... You suddenly find yourself filled with absolute dread. Yeah, I know. And the only thing you can think of as you are frightened in this situation is getting away as fast as you can. Hi, friend. <laughs> and that is going to be it for... Uh... Their turn this time. Vara, you're up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that's that's a predicament, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I will go ahead and enter the temple. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. As you step foot on the temple ground. I figured as much. 
a voice emanates from the statue, a voice you're familiar with, the voice of that male Eidolon. No, you are not allowed in this temple. And it immediately turns to face in your direction and prepares to charge at you. Cool. Thanks for the distraction. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and use a wild shape to take on the archer story form. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because it's a bonus action, right? Yes. Or no, I, as a bonus action, you can expend a use of your wild shape. And then the actual. Yeah, you, that, that gets you into the, the form. And then whatever you do in the form would be your action. Yeah, because the way the phrasing mm -hmm. is that I could use as a bonus action, I could expend a use of wild shape to take on starry form, but then mm -hmm. I think it's just says like on subsequent time. terms, turns I can. Or when you activate the oh, okay, when you activate this form and as a bonus action on your subsequent terms. Okay, great. So I'll go ahead and make that range spell attack at Okay. It was the Minotaur, right? Or was it the or was it the um the, other guy? The one who yelled at you? Yes. Uh, that would be this statue over here. Yes. Okay. Great. What is the range on? Is he within sixty feet of me? No. So yeah. I will go ahead and do. Um, the you have a hand stuff. raised. Yes, Adrastus. I'll I'll let uh, Farah finish their turn, but after it's done, I have a question. Okay. Because I I'm not going to forget things again, and I just saw something in my notes. Okay. I'll do the Minotaur first because uh, I know Adrastus will let himself die, and I'm not going to let someone else die again. <laughs> so that is a ha, nat one, uh, seven to hit. Uh, that would be I a assume miss. that does not hit. Great. Yeah, cool. that would be an absolute miss, I'm afraid. Cool. And Vara just kind of was I able to get as far as I did? Because I walked uh, my full movement, or what I have only been yeah, able you, to step partially. Into you did your full movement. That's fine. Okay. You can shift. You can change shape while you move. That's no problem. Great. I just didn't know if me like if, if they like yelled at me right away or or what. As the... soon as you stepped on it, they would have yelled at you. But that doesn't mean you'd stop. I mean, they yelled Can't at you and you moving. still melted okay. the bodies. So. Cool. Yeah, it sure did. All right. <laughs> cool. She'll stay where she's at then. End All right. turn. All right. Okay. Ariana. Hold oh, on sorry. real quick. Adrastos had a question. Yes. In the interest of not forgetting things, can I retroactively add my inspiration to my save? Because I forgot I had it. Go ahead. Okay. So. It is, in fact, a 20. Because I rolled <laughs> an 8. That's good. Okay. Enough. Thank you. Since no action had happened yet, that's why I'm okay. perfectly fine with it. I, I know. Thank you, Tully. <laughs> oh, now I know who to target. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's always been me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. <laughs> Ariana, you're up. Hello. Um, I, I'm moving half speed. Uh, yes. Unless okay. you want to drop the body, I mean, you know. Nope. <laughs> uh, that means I'm going to make it here. And that All is right. my turn. All right. Again, that is going to move you out of mm -hmm. melee range with this creature. And uh, I think, therefore, it's going to want to try and do something uh, to you. And... It's a little bit limited. It's kind of a spirited form, but it threw your blade at you and didn't hit you, but your blade's going to be on the ground near it, so it's going to scoop it and throw it at you again. <laughs> but I'm going to do it disadvantaged, because it did scoop it. <laughs> and that's going to be an 11, which I'm pretty sure misses, and uh, I'm going to have to get new dice at this rate. <laughs> 
No, my no, these dice are fine. Me. It's not like the three nat 20s in a row you rolled on us last time. No, I got three nat 1s in a row last time. <laughs> <laughs> Just at inopportune moments. All right, very good. Ariana, you've moved down into that zone, and I believe that brings the Minotaur up. So he's still kind of a little irritated at Adrastos, I think. So he's going to continue to wail on him. I do have that effect on people. Or or at least attempt to wail on him. His wail has not gone so well lately. Um, that is a 16. Miss. Then I'm pretty sure the next one misses too. Hey, I've only got 100 d20s here, but I'll go through them all, damn it. <laughs> and he swings at up, you, man. and I, I'm sure the distraction of this bobbing uh, uh, human torso on back of Ariana distracted him as he attempted to hit you. That's going to be my excuse, and I'm stipping, st sticking to it. Adrastos, you're up. <sighs> Want two taunts, but I'm afraid I will put karma into Tam's dice. <laughs> I'm going to attack at disadvantage. I'm not going to do my special attack yet. All right. Uh, 18. That's a hit. 10 damage. All right. He's definitely okay. looking a little bit thinner. That's kind of how we described it last time. He doesn't get bloody, but he appears to thin out. All right, and then I am going to go ahead and faint. Like, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Please don't use my fainting <laughs> attack, which it, I appear to faint, and then I just <laughs> kick one of my feet forward and just kick him right in the minotaur uh -huh. nuts. So you're a rogue, I see. <laughs> that I missed. So, uh, all right. And then I want to, I'm here for a reason, and that reason is to get the body out. So I'm going to use my last superiority die. Okay. I am going to swap places with Ariana. And I'm going to increase Ariana's AC by eight. All right. And so I'm going to say, go, get him out of here. I'll cover you. So I don't know what your AC is now, but it's whatever it is plus eight. So Ooh, swapping places. Uh, 22. Swapping places basically puts her directly in front of the Minotaur and you off to the side a little bit. Yes, Just but now she has an AC of 22. Ticaros. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't want to hurt these people. I got no qualms with them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my movement to run, yeah, 35 feet into the candle corridor. Okay. And then, can I get a clear path? I want to hurl a firebolt at the Minotaur. Real you can't quick, stop. I think you're, right you're standing on, on Grindy. So you're standing on Herax, so you can't do that. So you Ooh. have to go either to the left or right of him. So yeah. I can't see it. Yeah, my world 20 is being a bit funny. It's Thank okay. I know we just his... met, but you can get on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it feels Actually, instinctive to have you on my shoulders. I would love that. <laughs> but no, let, let's keep this professional. Okay. Anyway. So I, okay, so I run in, give Hyrax a little wink, <laughs> and I want to hurl a firebolt at the Minotaur to try and, I don't know, just hurt it up, mess it up a little. <laughs> 13 to hit that's a hit that hits it is isn't it yeah i, I remember what it took to hit him <laughs> Alrighty, that is nine whole points of fire damage and the flames hit him and he winces from it and you mm. hear him kind of exclaim in pain <laughs> interesting And by the way, okay, keeping it professional time. simply means an exchange of money. I just want to clarify. <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, is that it for your turn to gross? We had already <laughs> moved on. It's you that brought it back up. Can we? Can I have we been holding on to that comment through the entire time. Oh, I think I did good not just blurting it out. So. <laughs> Naughty, naughty. Nice. Very proud of you, Tim. <laughs> Somebody I had needs to be. type of Minutstar in the chat, okay? <laughs> I didn't say it out loud. Okay, so, <laughs> I, and, and now reading that out loud, like, all I can think of is, like, a dress that's just putting on a fedora, Minutstar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ptolemaeus, save us, please. Yeah. Oh, no. I choose to skip my turn entirely. <laughs> Solidarity to all of these bad jokes. No. No. Um, you may all die. Yeah. I am going back to sleep. You all <laughs> deserve it. <laughs> Take my nightmares. Ptolemaeus reaches behind and pulls out a pillow. <laughs> sit down on the floor. Confirmed Ptolemaeus is Freddy Krueger. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> uh, what do I do in this situation other than get myself into a better position? Let's see. Am I in a good position already? I'm in a pretty good position already. So I just want to point out in case anybody's missing it, that the dark corners of this are actually open space. So they're just dark oh, yeah. sides of it. So uh, if anybody cool. wants to move over there, I want to make sure you realize that... Uh, it's not like just a narrow corridor. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think I will jump over the candles like I did last time. Once more to uh, I'll, I'll be behind the pillars. I'll be yeah, careful. yeah. <laughs> Several candlesticks. Um, I will right be right behind the pillars and still keep an eye on whatever is happening with the Minotaur, okay. and hope that. The Eidolon is as slow as I remember, and that'll be my turn. All right. Very good. All right. You're up. Yes, and I should not be muted. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to... Let's see. So I threw a lot of javelins, and I only have a limited number of javelins. So we're going to figure out what I do next. It's going to be pretty wacky we're gonna figure out uh let's see i'll move up to here go, go a solid 30 feet up here and see about hmm. this time i'm going to guess mark by the way uh on this fellow all right so now i should be doing my full damage um and then i'm going to take my attacks you know what yeah i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna take my attacks let's go Still a disadvantage i presume yes <clears throat> it's all right yeah you did fine before <laughs> oh no not this time though because uh with disadvantage that's a nat one uh, that's that's a miss. All right. As long as I don't hurt anybody. <laughs> I, I'm being a kind kind DM this you week. So. Are being <laughs> actually no no, no. you you your your javelin spears uh, Agrios's uh, corpse in the butt. I was, <laughs> I was about to say <laughs> that's just insulting. <laughs> that's just insult to injury, Tam. It really is, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to roll my extra attack now. Uh, and with my extra attack, that is going to be... I want to take my glasses off because of the glare. Um, dirty 20. That's a hit. All right. Uh, with 13 piercing damage. All right. And that... Leaves a mark again, thins him out a bit, but your javelin goes through him and hangs on the stairs behind. And I'm now out of javelins, so that's that. Uh, but uh, at least I hurt the guy. Um, there's a short sword being thrown around somewhere. <laughs> that's okay, I'll be all right. I'll, f I'll, f I'll figure something out, but uh, I'm not out of weapons completely yet. Um, 
But yeah, that's my turn. All right. So several things are going to happen here. First, the female, the satire Eidolon is going to charge over this direction, over in this corner to this statue. I'm trying to ping it and it's not pinging to this statue over here. And disappear inside the statue. Oh no! She's activated her stand. <laughs> and I will, I will mess around with the tokens and clean them up later. But yori, yori, yori. So cool. So <laughs> She's technically the stand because she's the spirit, and then there's yeah. the statue, and then you know, I'm just. No, no, you're right. You're right. You know, that's in. that's that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> um <Yes>. actually. <laughs> Did you just adjust your glasses there? <laughs> <laughs> the other statue is going to step forward a bit, reach down, and pick up two of the large candle bases and hurl them at Vara. <laughs> Miss. The power of the stars. <laughs> I am an archer. I'm too shoddy. It looks like a graveyard of dice back here. I am not sure <laughs> what is going on with my dice this evening. But what's funny is I have run an, an amazing, an improbable number of fives have I rolled tonight. I mean, uh, almost every roll I have made has been a five. You want to know why? It's reminding you that after you killed one of our characters, there were five There's of only us five left. Five left. <laughs> <laughs> far, far. Well, well played, sir. Well played. But as this is going on, you hear some commotion at the steps behind. No. As this battle's going on, and two children are brought up. No way! Uh, this is a bad time, Elder. I really. I will kill you Elder. yourself. Go away. <laughs> All right, you're up. Goodness. Oh. Have they entered yet? They are at the top of the steps, so they have not stepped foot on the uh, the nice, fancy uh, mosaic tile floor yet. Fantastic. Well, as I guess he's... Can I hit him? He's kind of in a weird spot. It like goes just along it's, the I'm going to say you've got enough line of sight there because the statues are large. So I think yeah, you definitely... Like, I mean, you might definitely. have, I guess, maybe partial cover or something. But um, cool. Now I this, will go ahead and... To be clear, yes. this is the one who th threw the rocks at you up here. Yeah, but they're out okay. of range, I believe. Okay. Yep, just yeah. making sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the. I'm just I'm just shooting at whoever is close enough to be <laughs> shot at. Um, so I'll go ahead and do my little starry form radiant damage. I roll. I get a dirty twenty to hit. That is a hit. I deal eight radiant damage. All right. As a bonus action, and then I go ahead and run over to the door. I can tell it's the children coming up. Like I have a feeling that that's what's happening. Or can I hear them or something? Or I can. I just... I, I'll say you can hear them, and you're familiar okay. with their voices, so definitely. Perfect. They don't necessarily I, want to be there. I run, not dash, but run to the door and close it. I do not want them coming in. There's so no door. Action. There's no doors. It's an open oh. temple. I am the door now. They miss, wall they miss, fire. They see, yeah. I mean, oh, I have, I have water. I wild wall. shape into a door. It's I'm a mimic as a door, so I wild. <laughs> oh, that's good. Because I, oh, that would. I've been a be player neat. before. I know how to kind of try and twist the rules. <laughs> I do have wall of water. Um, Ooh, interesting. Yeah, you can make the wall thirty feet long. Vanishes in the spell, and it's a concentration. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. So instead of running over there, um, now in terms of spell on the same turn kind of stuff, the chalice form doesn't count against that, right? I'd assume nope. not. 
Nope. Great. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and cast wall of water on the doorway and block it off. All right. So I'll just, I'll have it basically just be a door. Um, here, let me just, I'll go ahead and click it. So it shows up in. Yeah. Just draw a little 20. blue line across there. And then I'll, I'll yeah. do that. I will draw. Oh, you got blue. it. Yeah. Give me Great. just a minute and I will draw. So I'll just, I'll be concentrating on that. It's difficult to rain. Range weapon attacks have Let's disadvantage. Out for trying to get the screen to align and show better on uh, the stream. There we go. I think that'll work. Okay. Sorry about that. Sweet. Cool. And with that, I end my turn. And also, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Ariana. You're muted or something. Or my audio has gone out. I was time. double muted. I had my <laughs> okay. mic muted and I had Zoom muted. And I'd unmuted one of them, but not both. Um, yeah, we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, move my 30 feet. Okay. Uh, well, our Minotaur not... is going to take his attack of opportunity. Go for it. It's a five. <sighs> Is it a no. five? No, it's uh -oh. not, uh, which I'm just amazed. Um, that is an 18. How long is my AC up? Just Until the next my turn. turn. 22 is my AC. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. Okay, you're not going over there, but you got to be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> you need to give them the crown of inspiration. You just need a real pretty <laughs> ring that you put on top of it and let it sit there for a little while to feel better about itself. Um, better yet, I've got a lighter and I'll just stick it under it for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Yeah, fear, yeah, encouragement, one of yeah, the two. You know. Um, yeah, she'll kind of nod at uh, Adrastos and uh, shoot a quick thanks to Hyrax as she huffs by as best she can. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she actually probably doesn't look like she's trying very hard because she is divinely inspired at the moment to be able to lift an insane amount of weight, but. It still looks very silly. And that's my turn. Awesome. All right. Well, that brings the Minotaur up. So he's going to take a swing at Ariana, miss, come back over and take a couple of swings at Adrastos. I'm going to change. He's going to hit Adrastos twice. I'm, I'm being positive. I'm sure he is. <laughs> I believe in you, Tam. <laughs> but somebody does. I cannot stop rolling rolling two of everything, but this time at least I rolled something decent. Uh, that's a dirty 20 and a dirty 20. Yeah, can those I, will both hit. Can, can I right. silvery barbs one of them? Yes, you may. <laughs> yeah, I will silvery barbs the first one and also give the the uh, advantage to address this. Thanks. Very good. Oh, I gotta re I'll re-roll that one in a minute. So the first, I'm going to roll the damage on the... Well, let me re-roll that one. Uh, that that one misses absolutely. Cool. And then I'm going to roll the damage on the second one. That's okay. So, hey, you know, that's that's how the game's played. Uh, that is going to be eight slashing damage and yeah, five force damage. Okay. Yeah, we could patch that. It'll compared to the damage this guy has taken thus far, that is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, compared to when you almost one-shot me last time with a crit. <laughs> Good point, yeah. yes, yes. And therefore, Adrastos, you're up. Great. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm going to disengage. And then I'm going okay. to run away. All right. And say to Hyrax as I pass, come on, no need to earn a useless fight, let's go. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Tikaros. Who are you, Adrestos? And what have you done with Adrestos? Are we running? <laughs> We're running? What? Okay. And she'll turn and start running towards the door as well. 
Of course, the wall, wall of response. water. I learned from you, Tikaros, <laughs> not to divide the party or fight useless fights. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. So you're going to charge towards the wall of water that I will remind yep. you is covering the doorway. <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> and we'll stop right before the wall. But you're close enough, you know, that the humidity in the air makes your hair go down and, you know, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. All right. One Colonnais. more smart thing. One more smart thing. That was my movement. I want to also be, like, prepping another little firebolt in case we get caught up in, in case like any of my friends get hit i'm gonna just hurl a fireball so a held action a held action yeah. for a firebolt uh if any of your people are hit and who is the target if any of your people are hit because you have the to minotaur the minotaur okay yeah very good thank you Alameus. uh i will walk around this pillar and call out Irax, if you're going to actually give them back the ring and return it, now's the time. We need to get out of here. All of us, including you. And uh, with that, uh, give him a bardic inspiration. And uh, stay within the vicinity of my friends. And just be a, a, a few steps behind, if anything. I'll be right there. And I'll end my turn there. All right. All right, you're up. Well, I wish you had said that before I antagonized the Minotaur. <laughs> uh, he's, let's see, I feel like if I just try and saunter in, I'm going to provoke a bunch of attacks of opportunity, and I... Just don't really want to deal with that, but uh, so it goes. I'm going to, well, that's, yeah, I'm going to have to dash to get up there. I also left all my javelins there because I really wanted to pick them all up. There are like five of them. You just put it down. <laughs> I will give you javelins, Hyrax. <laughs> put the ring down, please. <laughs> but these are special. I brought them from home. I my will mom go got up them there. for me I... when I was a child. I will dash it, and that's not true. I will dash up there and put put the ring there. All right. That is going to put you charging past. Two it certainly figures. will. So certainly will. The Minotaur, who is somewhat in a peeved state anyway, is definitely going to take a turn if you're on the way by. And uh, that's a 15. Nope. All right. And he misses. And as you attempt to uh, go by the statue, it is going to attempt to slam into you, just kind of step over and ram into you. <sighs> this game sucks. <laughs> uh, I am going to say, I'm assuming the nine misses, <laughs> so... You make it, it to the uh, you make it to the altar, and you can place the ring. Upon I it. I place the ring upon it. All right. Is there any visible reaction from the rest of them? Uh, no, there is not, and you will note there is only one ring on the altar because the other one is still dangling from Agrios's finger. I'm working Get on it. it. Okay, I'm working <laughs> on it. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Is that it? I guess so. Yeah, that's that's a let's see, move and an action, and I don't have anything to do with a bonus action right now. So just go fuck myself, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's it. All right, I'm here with all these guys, all these boys. All right. Well, the first thing that's going to happen is this statue over here in the corner is going to begin moving. And it's going to make it uh, just far enough in to pick up a couple of the uh, candle holders wow. and uh, hurl them. Toss them at me. I dare you. Actually, um, it's going to be me. No. It might be me. She's hurling them at Ariana. Oh, We've wow. all pissed them off, right? <laughs> There's Ariana has of us the body. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I think so, only Tully hasn't pissed them off yet. <laughs> not 17? done a lick of damage. <laughs> uh, Ariana, 17? 17? Uh, yes, because... Uh, yeah, the, uh, the shield passed, exacted. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, no, it's all good. It's, it's, yeah, I'm 14 now. All right. Um, <laughs> these things can hurl rocks pretty hard, so give me just a second. I have to pick up a few uh, D6s for this first throw. You get so excited when you hurt us. It's it's really wonderful to watch. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, don't mind me. I just need to pick up a few, like one D6 at a time. Just a few D6s. <laughs> I'm sorry. A one, I'm a sorry. two, a two, okay. three. Be, be grateful that you get to watch his expressions and they're not hidden behind a bunny mask so you don't know <laughs> what he's thinking. Okay, <laughs> this is better than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's 20 bludgeoning damage from the first one. Okay, never mind. Uh, it's not better. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. And the uh, the next throw uh, was a 24, so I'm assuming that hits as well. Correct. Uh, I, can I silvery barbs that one? The that's second a, one? A, yeah, right. the second one. Well, we'll just try. Uh, that will be right. an 18. Oh, too bad. Still hits. Can, can yeah. you? Has I will it been a turn? The, Yes, it has. It okay. is between between my my turn, but okay. I will also use that to. Uh... Well, unfortunately, he ran too far away. Um, yeah, I'll give Ariana the advantage. It might be moot if she lives through moot. it. She'll have the advantage. That is going to be eighteen bludgeoning damage. As he aims, She's still this standing. This Go to your leg. All right. Very good. The other Eidolon, however, <laughs> is going to be a little bit focused on the one who ran past him. And I'm going to do a perception check to see if he picks up that you put the ring on the altar or not. That will determine what he would do. Okay, this one roll well. 20. <laughs> no, I rolled a five. Ah. Hey, wait, that was a good roll. <laughs> The fives are betraying us! <laughs> Damn it, fives! Sometimes fives are good, sometimes fives are not. I'm afraid it's going to be very I... unhappy uh, about that. And it is going to run up and just try and ram you with its arms, kind of slam attacks there. And that first one is going to be a 16. Or Pyrex? Uh, yeah. Oh, that was what? That was what? That was what? 16? <laughs> a 16, yeah. No, that doesn't hit me. Okay, cool. Uh, the next one, on the other hand, is going to be a 27. So I'm assuming that it actually... Uh, it probably hits me, yeah. Yeah, that does actually hit you. Falling! <laughs> how, much, how much damage are we looking at? That's going to be 29 bludgeoning damage. Is it? Uh, that hurts. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Checks you uh, with a single hit there. Uh, why are you trying to kill me the next session after you killed me, Tam? Because I sense a pattern coming on. All right. All right. I didn't pick the fight. All right. Uh, Look, bar if it were up to me, I would have. If it were me, I would have cast Pass Without Trace and had everyone just stealth in with me. <laughs> And we could have done this. See? Right. There you right. go. Right? That's what I'm, I'm talking just thinking, about. I'm yeah. thinking about how Tam, during the first session, when it was just me, Tali, and Tikaros, was like, I did not, I assumed that you guys would not fight these people. And now we're fighting them not once, but a second time. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't get to have all the fun. By the time I got to actually. do anything, the fight had already started. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> Vara, you're up. Yeehaw. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let me, first of all, let me refresh my roll 20. I think I'm having the same issue crisis where it's kind of 
sometimes people are in the right spot and sometimes they aren't. Yeah, okay, so the dress is in a different mm-hmm. spot than I thought he was. It's like it doesn't refresh or something, eh? Yeah, I, yeah, I know. It's out of sync. It's weird. Yeah. It's very weird. But thankfully, because what will what'll happen is I look at my World 20 and then I look at the stream and I'm like, those aren't the same map. Um, okay, well, then I'm going to, I think, just join. Well, so from where I am, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, uh, archer action again to the closest Eidolon right in front of me. Okay. That is a 16 to hit. That's, uh, I believe, nope, that is a miss. Great. Regardless of hit or miss, um, Vara is now going to go ahead and wedge herself. She's going to kind of pass between her, uh, she's going to kind of shimmy (laughs) into this spot right here and kind of slide past Adrastos and, and form a barrier trying to let um, Ariana be safe okay. from this person. All right. And also trying to kind of get the attention of, like, as she walks past, she clearly walks in front of Adrastos, like, okay, I'm the one who caused this mess, like, focus on me, kind of thing. All right. Very boldly. Very good. All right. And Is I that think- it? Uh, you know, I still have an action, yeah. but um, I think since the uh, um, Starry Four missed, I'll just kind of do like she'll whip out her scimitar and kind of do like a a hit at him, knowing that she's not going to do much damage because <laughs> she's not a fighter, but just trying to get attention on her. Okay. Um, so I'll try to hit with that. That's a nine. Didn't hit. Five. That is a miss. <laughs> but she's a wagging miss. a scimitar in front of this person going, look at me, look at me. <laughs> I'm fighting you. Fight me. <laughs> All right. Then I believe Ariana, you're up. Ray. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, hauling ass here. Uh, double move, and I'm almost at the door. All right. That's it. All right. And <laughs> we're down to the Minotaur, but I'm looking at the time, and I'm thinking this might be a good time to take a break. So. <laughs> and we're back. Ah! <laughs> Everybody's moving around, running, lots of craziness, things being thrown. The Minotaurs kind of had the snot beat out of him a little bit. And then everybody charges towards the door. He doesn't have the greatest of perception, but he does note as Ariana's getting closer to this uh, wall of water. The alabaster ring on Agrios's filthy, dirty hand shines out as it's pure white against the darkness of his mud and, and toil and blood. Um, and he realizes that the ring is about to go through the wall of water. Which, interestingly, would probably clean off Agrios's hand and therefore he wouldn't be able to see the ring as well. But so. Anyway, he's going to yell out, The ring! And he is going to charge at full speed. So I'll, say, I'll give it back. <laughs> Let's see. That was going to be my action. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell Tikaros to grab it. <laughs> She's next to me. <laughs> well, he is going to charge the 60 feet, which I just measured it because I can't believe it. It's going to put him right behind you. But since he used his action to uh, charge forward, all he can do is catch up with you at this point. And he's also going to run past Vara and Adrastos and Ptolemaeus. Attacks of opportunity, anyone? Yeah. 
I'm gonna give him a big old pinch. I don't have any weapons equipped. At I, all. Have a, I have anything. a shimitar that I was waggling around. I'll, I'll well, try let's it. go with Vara first because she'd be the first in line. I think it does a nat 20 hit. Yes, actually, nice. it does. Yeehaw, 24. Uh, I hate to be this person, but is, are these at disadvantage? Oh, it's a disadvantage, well? isn't it? Oh, yes, on him, on these, it is disadvantage. Thank you, Ptolemaeus. Excellent. Love you, that man. That is a 10 to hit. <laughs> Uh, that is that, that is now become that is now become a miss. <laughs> Don't worry, Ptolemaeus. I did the homework. Thanks for reminding the teacher. Ptolemaeus, Ptolemaeus, you may not have a weapon armed, but you still did some damage. All right, address. <laughs> that was good. Address. You're up. Apparently, I give disadvantage to everybody. I just oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, with disadvantage, it's a 16. Uh, that is a hit. Excellent. Well, not as excellent as an at 20 would have been, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maximum damage! <laughs> Which isn't a lot, but it's 14. 14 slashing damage. All right. Taint nothing. All right. So, you... you uh, what are you attacking him with? My sword. Okay. okay. You hold out your sword and cut across him, and it slices through, but he's a spirit, so he kind of reforms as he goes through. But you can definitely see the spot where you hit him, and he still manages to catch up to Ariana. And I believe that brings us to Tikaros. Uh, what about me? Did I miss you? Did I skip you? I am so, you so did. sorry. I am so, so sorry. Let's go back to Adrastos. Hey. Ding. Um. Uh, oh, it had to be Ariana and Vara that I have to pick between. <laughs> wow. Ariana Vara. can handle herself. I'm attacking the Eidolon. Oh, Vara's <laughs> the reason we're in this mess. Poor choice. <laughs> So I would like to point out in lieu of my me pointing out the disadvantage, I want to point out that you still have the advantage from my silvery barbs from before. It lasts one minute, so. Okay, well. And there is no disadvantage against the statues. Great, then I'll just take advantage on the statue. Yep. Uh, 22. That is a hit. Four, uh, sorry, not 14. Uh, 13 slashing. All right. Do I have advantage on all my attacks or just the first one? Ptolemaeus. Uh, uh, just, him, the just the first one. Just the first one. one. Yeah. Okie dokie. Then second Achuk. Uh, 24. That's a hit. Just slowly going down the D8. Uh, 11 <laughs> slashing damage. All right. Uh, you chipped some stone off of it. So you've definitely done a little bit of damage to it. Uh, to which I will yell to Ariana, Ariana, throw the blasted ring! <laughs> All right. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Tikaros! Oh, you're muted. <laughs> Throw the ring? Why? Why do you have the ring, Ariana? She's going to spin, and uh, <laughs> Agrios's body will spin around, and the arms flapping Arm comes there around, with the ring on Slaps it. her across the face. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> take the ring, take the ring, take the, rose, take the ring. <laughs> okay. I try to get the ring off his finger. If you, if you spend your action to do it, you can definitely uh, grab the ring. So. Yep. All right. You have the ring. And can I just see the minotaur obviously screaming up towards us? And I'll just hold it out and say, we just want to make it right. Do you drop it? Because I saw your hand open. <sighs> Holding it out to him to take it. Okay. As in a um, gesture. And you spoke, you spoke to him as well. So uh, 
please make a persuasion roll with advantage. Ooh. Yes! Ooh, with advantage! You can do this, Tickeros! I'm good with my words and my face. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It better be a good roll. That's all I can say. <laughs> you can do it! Oh my god, it is. Natural 18 plus 7. Good enough. Math. All right. Cool. 25. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I <Excellent>. rolled math. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going, I, I'm assuming you're not going to move. Nope. No movement. So, all no right. I'm moving. Ptolemaeus. So my, I, I have no idea what to do on my turn anymore, um, because that was exactly <laughs> what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Um, I, against better judgment. <laughs> better judgment. As if that's not this entire what, session. What so game far. are you in? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Tolmais, you really have been asleep. <laughs> no, no. We see, you see, you see I one. have to be somewhat having better judgment with all the stuff that's happening around around me. But um, I'm gonna walk exactly ten feet forward, uh, just a little bit more, mm -hmm. just kind of feeling the outward like grasps of what I could do to include Hyrex. And be able to uh, keep them there as I kind of shout. The other, the other, we have the other ring as well. Just get back over here. And yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I need to get away from this statue thing. So, as much as I want to use my action for other things, I think I probably should maybe disengage. Okay. Uh, so that I can get around him, okay. which is going to put me right there, which is, I think is about where all my javelins are on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be actually, <laughs> uh, excellent. Um, it, I, I'm not, I can't do it this turn cause I, you know, actions and all that, but I do have a question, Tam, if I can just hear me out. Okay. Uh, if it, cross my arms, you'll think I'm not listening. <laughs> because they're not because they're not embedded in anything and they're all lying in one within one five foot square. What are the chances I could just take the net from my back, wrap all the <laughs> javelins up, and uh, run for it on my next turn? Wow. Um roll me in acrobatics. I'll or do athletic. it. I'll do athletics. it. Oh, I'll do that one. That is not as good as I wanted it to be. It's a 14. I will let you pick up I, two of them. I'm sorry. I, I did ahead, give you me. inspiration before. You have a D8. You did well. give me inspiration. I'm going to roll oh. a D8 with that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So and Ptolemaeus is coming through with the inspiration. That's why we keep dying. We need inspiration. Which, uh, all you need is a two, and you can pick them all up, because that's where I was setting the bar. So. Okay, well, I, I rolled a three. So, <laughs> there oh. you go. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. I, I, bundle awesome, up my, awesome, awesome. Uh, I bundle up my javelins wrapped up in a net. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, now we're back to the Eidolons, and... You've been slammed by this guy, uh, and then you just suddenly, I guess, uh, sneak out. He's very tall, very big, very slow, so you're able to sneak past him. Kind of turns to watch you go and um, reaches down to scoop up a couple of candlesticks. And I'm going to roll a perception check. <laughs> I'd like to note you're doing more damage to your temple than we did. <laughs> uh unfortunately he, he did not notice the ring my god this thing altar. is stupid blind i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm beginning to think maybe he is um <laughs> he isn't a statue mech so you know. with everything that's and been it also and is else, like isn't it like a rock ring on a rock table <laughs> that's both white <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know um all right he's gonna throw both of those candlesticks um at hyrax uh 
Um, <laughs> that's a dirty 20. Yeah, the dirty 20 hits. Like are there are there are there multiple attacks there? Yeah, but wait, ahead, I think Tom he's Elias. getting barbed. I, yes, I'm, I'm getting my barbs out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Silvery barbing it. Uh oh. Sorry, I got my I got my damage dice in there. That sounded like a lot of dice. I apologize. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Our, our silvery bard is coming through. That yeah. is a miss. Hey. Okay. There you nice. go, Ptolemaeus. I'll give myself the advantage on that one. I'll just, just, yeah, just hold it on to it for self. Yeah, do that. Yeah, pat you yourself on it. the back for once. You know, you deserve FYI, it. FYI, my AC is 18. It doesn't matter because uh, I rolled a three. Yes. Oh, yes. He was disadvantaged because you're too close to him. So that's why I was rolling two dice. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so he, he misses you with these. The other Eidolon, however, is close enough and uh, has a little bit better perception. Let's see if she kind of picks up on this whole uh, ring thing that's going on. <clears throat> she actually does. And as she is rearing back and about to just whack the crap out of Vara and Adrastos, going to hold action on that attack to see if the ring makes it back into their possession. Vara. Cool. Yeah, if I see her do this and hesitate and watch the rings, Vara will kind of um, just shout to stop. Just everyone stop. Um, I'm not going to shout. <laughs> but uh, just kind of a shout, like, oh, everyone stop. We, we can hand the rings and, and move on. Enough people have died. Roll me a persuasion. to do eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the most persuasive voice in the room. Anything else I you would like did, to do? I did say we shouldn't kill more people after killing people, so <laughs> I, I understand that one. Um, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> um, and then I think I would, you know, I'm kind of, I would kind of square up in the same way that she has where I will hold uh hold an action uh, probably a guiding bolt just first level okay. at her if she if she attacks us then I'll attack her basically all right very good let's turn it into the big standoff of everybody around yeah the exactly <laughs> yeah. yep Ariana the weight uh, on I'm, your back has has lessened as the ring was taken off. It's now like a quarter ounce less. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can go for a jog with this now. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, five, ten, or ten, twenty, kind of um, get through the wall, which is technically quarter speed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but I will get through the wall with Agrios and um, uh, set him down. And then if I have time, fix my shield and face the door and wait for everybody else to come out. Okay. So on the other side of that, just at the foot of the stairs, is the elder with the two children. And uh, he appears to be holding the two children. He's kind of got his staff under his arm and he's holding them and they do not appear to be conscious. Mm. Oh, I want to Sparta kick him while holding Agrios. <laughs> Can I do that? Can I just boot him? <laughs> he is holding the children, but sure. <laughs> yeah, they're going to just, but if they're, if they're mostly unconscious... They're just going to fall. Kids fall all the time. Kids fall all the time. 
Yeah, yeah. give me an acrobatics. They bounce. Yeah, exactly. They got rubber bones. Give give me an acrobatics, Leonidas. Ooh, I have advantage on those right now <laughs> because I have my divine uh my channel divinity going. Uh not spectacular, but I am plus four. Uh fourteen. That's good enough. He's he's an old man holding children. Fantastic. So yeah. He is, That's he, is right. now, he is now prone. And has a big bruise. And yeah, she's just going to glare down still. Hasn't set Agrios down yet. It's just still holding him glaring down at him. And I will wait for everybody else. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. The Minotaur is, I mean, still just, he's like full of rage when Hikra sticks her hand out to him. And he is going to take a step forward with the axe in his hand, and he is going to raise it up. And look at her. And it's almost like you could see, it's, it's almost like when somebody would hit you in the arm, you know, like Charlie Horse in the arm, as he, he, the axe just goes to the ground. And he places his hand out. And Please it, take it. And he'll take the coin. And give me a perception check. It's got to be a really good one. <laughs> nope. Five. He takes the coin, looks at you, and lets his axe fall from his hand. And as it does, it vanishes. And he just turns around. And starts walking back towards the altar. Which will put him about right there in Adrastos range. Which is good because Adrastos, you're up. Not going to hit him. I'm going to say to the Eidolon statue thing. Um, this fighting is useless. Cease this nonsense. Find more bodies. Let it be done. Right. Just watching all of this, I'm just going to hold my position, waiting to see what happens next. All right. Follow me. I think I'm going to do the same thing, uh, except I'll walk towards the, the, the water wall a little bit, or just move towards the water wall. Um, and uh, just carefully walk past the Minotaur. See if there's any aggression going on, I guess. Crazy thoughts that come in my mind as you're saying that. I'm thinking there's got to be a band of bards in, Oas in uh, Theros named Oasis that's going to sing a song called Waterwall from now on. <laughs> so, anyway. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah I know I was about I'm going I'm, I've done this oh. crap before <laughs> just two shithead brothers same here I have as well I mean you you know that Crassus has a musician who just constantly sings bulls on parade <laughs> I no I specifically wrote a parody of Wonderwall in Drow Elvish I remember wow, that well yes oh my gosh I do recall that all right uh thank you Ptolemaeus Arax He's uh, forgetting yes, his own sorry. name. Uh, <laughs> I, yep. I was like, oh, wait, wait a minute, I'm Man, this higher Rex guy is being real quiet. He should say something. Dad, it's his turn. Jesus Christ. God. Um, That's a joke. All right. So, uh, yeah, I, I have a minute here to move out of here because I don't want to be involved with this anymore. I did what I came here to do. So I'll go, I can go 30 feet up to there. And then. Uh, I don't know. If I dash through here, is anybody going to try and kill me? Because I, I really don't want that to happen. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Vara probably won't. You wouldn't be that close to the Eidolon statue. Well, I, like the, I like the 
think you said probably. The, the, the <laughs> question is if, the question is if the the question is if that Minotaur is going to take a swing at me. I think he's otherwise occupied, right? Yeah, he, he doesn't. He, he doesn't even see you. He I'm didn't da- swing at Tolly. I'm dashing through here. I'm 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 out. I am so gone. Hmm. I don't want this. That's my turn. I just move up here and uh, sling my bundled javelins onto my back where they can live for a minute. Okay. Adrastos, uh, you made a statement of stopping fighting and just finding bodies, I do believe, on your last uh, action. Yes. I said, find more bodies in the village, cease this useless fighting. Are you sure you're not volunteering? That comes from the one that's standing near you. But it's kind of a half-hearted thing, not not any kind of a, a an open threat. If you are truly a temple of lovers, you should not be taking lives. Take a body that has already been given. The spirit has to still be with them. It may be too late. The longer you waste fighting us, the less chance you have for success. While this conversation is starting and going on, the uh, other statue that is at the top of the step is going to take a few steps down and pick up more candle bases. And uh, very angrily hurl them. Because he's got a bad temper. No, surely not. Yes, yes, he d- and don't call me Shirley. Uh, so he is going to aim for uh, two very visible targets because um, Arax has moved way out of the way. Uh, so I think this is going to be uh, Vara. Because she's the closest available target. So, Your uh, makes sense. Sorry, Vara. It's just... Seems like the target of choice. Don't mind it. I deserve it. Uh, that is a miss on one, and the other, the other is a twenty-four. So I'm assuming that is probably that not. hits. Yeah, I thought it might be. Making sure there's no barbs or anything coming in here. Oh, I need I need to save it for healing soon. Save my <laughs> slots for healing as well. I can. Oh my god. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to fight them now. Oh boy. Adrastos, roll me a d20. What? Uh, <laughs> Stop nine. it! <laughs> What's uh, happening? Stop. What you, what's your modifier for persuasion? For persuasion, three. So twelve. Well, the rock comes sailing over and hits Vara, and that is going to be twenty bludgeoning damage. Sick. Taken. Vara, you're up. Uh, I'm going to hold a hand up to Adrastos and just shake my head and just don't. Don't fight him. Um, she won't say anything, but um, uh, she will look at the um, Eidolon that just threw something at her. What did you come back to do? Was this it? Ooh, sharp. Is anybody planning to attack at this point? Because I know Adrastos, you said you would. Icarus is saying no. We had a few held, so that one I'm asking. Okay. Adrastos, are you going to... Is your is it your intent to attack? Because otherwise I'm going to take us out of initiative order and respond to Vara. It is not my intent 
to attack right now, but my intent <laughs> is to move between the thing that just threw something at Vara and Vara with shield and javelin, like throw another one. We'll play this game. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with taking a defensive posture or even yeah. an offensive posture. <laughs> I have no problem with that. All right. We were put here to protect this temple, the relics, and the lovers, which you, and he's going to point at you, <laughs> you yourself destroyed. But I know what you are. And you were not put here. You chose to came back. And uh, beside you, you're kind of the Matira, the girl, the satyr who's inside the statue behind you. You hear she kind of goes, uh, actually, I volunteered. He was put here. Hmm. I did what I felt was right as per my faith. And admittedly, your very existence, and she'll look over to um, the idol on next word, is also against my faith. I would like to leave it here. I asked them if they were in pain and they said yes. What I did, you may not see as mercy, but I do. I have brought back the rings. I would not have killed them if I felt that their death would cause them to go somewhere where they could not be together. You do, I told them the truth. So the one up on the altar, the male. <clears throat> you don't know where they went, and they were only in pain because they'd been awakened. Prior to that, they had lain there for 300 years. No pain, no nothing, just together. And now they can continue to be content. To, to, to be together, to be content, to be at peace and aware of what happened to them. And I hope that you can find the same. I have only one desire and one goal, and that is to do my job and protect this temple and the lovers. Why? Because it is why I am here. Because it is why Afara you? placed me at this temple. Um, well, as our group has been finding, it seems perhaps the gods aren't, aren't always in agreement. While you're talking, the Minotaur is going to have been walking up, and he will walk up and lay the other ring on the altar. Lanathos, you have the rings. Maybe she'll sacrifice herself, and uh, then we just need another. You can get your spell back in place and be happy. What for? I have reasoning for what I did. Why this temple? Why two lovers? What does that signify? What does that do? Keeping people in this state bet between death and passage, it is, it is against Athreos. He is going to separate himself from the statue and move towards you. I'm here, by the way. <laughs> okay. 
Like I would have stepped to the side so that Vara and him could talk, but as soon as it starts advancing, no. <laughs> All right, let me get this token back over here. So he's just going to, as he's talking, make his way forward. You have no idea what this temple symbolizes, do you? No. This temple has stood for 300 years to mark the peace between two warring kingdoms. And now, with this temple gone, they will start to fight again. You haven't just ruined this temple for me. You haven't just ruined it for Afara. You have ruined it for Theros. There will now be war between Akros and Setessa. And you, and he will continue to walk forward. And he will actually move into the space where Adrastos is, so that he is right in front of Vara. You um, started mm -hmm. a war. <laughs> yes, Adrastos? Well, what do you say I do about that? Bring back the body of the centaur. Sacrifice yourself, and then we will place you as the two lovers on the altar. Or How would that prevent war? We're just two random people. The temple that doesn't seem like a very the strong The temple truce. will be restored. Right now, no one outside of here knows. But haven't you noticed? The stonework, the floor, it's beginning to age. The stasis has left. It will not be long before the outside world knows what has happened here. If we can restore the bodies to the altar, restore the magic to the temple, kill off the village, no one ever needs to know. Why? I should probably not involve myself, but... No, go ahead. I can't... Uh, he's been listening for a while, and I think he's going to step in at some point and say, how has one temple if it is as you say nearly a symbol of peace how has it maintained peace between two nations which according to you seem determined to go to war and would i know anything about tessa wanting to go to war with akros tim i mean uh, having been from there you... at some point i mean you could check your memory and see if i could check my memory back Let's see. Not my best skill. Uh, best of... would also. Sorry, go ahead. It's a great big nine, Tam. <laughs> uh, there is a legend. It is a very old and one of those stories that's told around the the fires. That you know, there's lots of myths about the gods, and the details kind of elude you. But you know, there was some kind of a thing three hundred years ago, and perhaps. It seems more important to you than it actually is to the outside world, if I may be so bold. Maybe it's not just the outside world, but an agreement between the gods. <clears throat> and they've never made mistakes. Have so they? you are. <laughs> he will actually step back. So that he can see your face. <laughs> if I may, all I wish to confirm is that the assertion here is that without this temple, it is not the people of these nations, but the gods that lead them that will be declaring war. Of course. 
It is written. It is what was stated when the temple was founded. And there is no way to spare these people's lives and maintain this truce in the heavens. Well, I suppose you're welcome to ask the gods. Perhaps but I until will. that time, it is my job to maintain this temple. If it is your duty to maintain the temple, and you feel so strongly about this and are concerned about the war, and Materia here was a volunteer to assist with this temple, then why couldn't you two be the lovers? Because we're already dead. We have no bodies. So are they. But they had bodies, which are required. Oh, we could go get your bodies. Or we could just take yours. I don't care who the bodies are. Run a lottery in the village, kill two people, and bring their freshly dead bodies here, and lay them on the, ta the altar. I don't care. I don't care that they're lovers. I don't care that they're friends. <sighs> bring me the two children who broke the spell in the first place. I think that was suggested, and I'd prefer that not to happen. I, I your preference happen. is immaterial. Sorry, Herex. I will not allow that to happen. He butts in about the children. Ariana's going to stick her head through the wall of water. <laughs> <laughs> are we not running? Why are we all standing? Because they're talking. They're always talking. It's okay. I think it's being worked out. It isn't. Oh, but they're just talking about bodies, and there's a lot of dead bodies in the village, so maybe we could go get some of the dead bodies while yeah. they talk and bring them back. You say that the bodies must still have their spirits in them. You have a way oh. to judge that. Mm -hmm. I, as someone who's serving to protect a temple of Afara, are you able to commune or call out or see what the expectation is if this is even still a necessary temple or if if she happens to have some kind of expectation of what bodies lay here or what to do i'm i'm happy to face judgment why face judgment and he will he will gesture to the altar when you can just take your place and sorry why again do we care say it once more one more time, tell her to kill herself. Oh no, not again. I realize this is a moot point. He's contradicting himself already. He's condemning the village regardless of whether or not we're going to be able to save the, the temple. And that has already been stated. When it's... he replaces the lovers, he's going to condemn the villagers. But why? Because it's, it is the matter of gods to condemn those they think lesser than them. It's a few for the many situation. It's believed that this, uh, what I did would cause war. Um, yes. What? Typical of a farer to value the lives of the polis over the lives in the village. Fair point. Okay. How about this? <laughs> You'll walk through the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's our options. It, We're it goes about... away after 10 minutes, so I feel like maybe at this point it would probably be gone. Right. <laughs> Walk through, yeah. walks away. Have Ariana laid... feels like she did it. Have you laid Agrios down, or are you still walking I'm, I'm, I'm going to let, yeah, I'm going to set Agrios down, and if the water wall isn't there and I can see him, then it's all okay. good. And yes, there might be a prone old man <laughs> you can see. Don't and worry two about children. it. Yeah, two children with lumps on their head. Yeah. <laughs> Quietly <laughs> sleeping. Yeah, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. <laughs> um, okay, we're worried about a war. 
there's already some kind of war going on with the gods. Maybe you two should check in with the head office and find out what's going on. And maybe that would actually help. But instead of that, we're going to fix your problems. We're going to fix what's going on because we're already on the track of it. And if there was going to be war, we're going to be big damn heroes and fix that and have pull. So how about you let us go so we can go fix your goddamn problems again? Hold on just a second. I'm going to back. Oh, I just accidentally turned your token. Don't ask me how. <laughs> I, <trust laughs> I, was, I was just trying Magic. to move it back a little bit. Ariana, throw me a persuasion. <laughs> it's a 19. All right. How do you propose to fix the problem? This is a symbol between some kind of thing with gods to keep war from happening. Is that the gist? Yes. Okay. Someone is impersonating gods and putting them at war with each other already if we hadn't brought down this temple it probably would have come down itself so instead we are going to find the perpetrator and we are going to solve this problem with or without the help of them this temple symbols sorry and symbols and whatnot can be erected afterwards once this is solved when new pieces garner. That doesn't land on to the kingdoms, it doesn't land on to different, to any of the polis right at this point. It's all on the gods. That needs to be dealt with first. This just isn't a black and white situation. I, all of, like I said, all of the gods have different goals and intentions and beliefs that people follow that may create discord with, with other followers of other gods, but it, I did what I felt was right. I recognized that it was harmful. I did not know of the symbolism or the war, and that was ignorant and foolish of me, but I have done what I felt is best in this not black and white, very gray scenario and retrieve the rings and brought them back. That I believe is a sign of goodwill and passage. You've killed my friend. I came back anyways and we faced the possibility of death because we just wanted our friend back and I wanted to do what I felt was right because I understand that you were just trying to do a job. So if we could just be on our way and try to fix this alongside all the other things we're trying to fix, I'd like to leave it at that. Or if there is some kind of other help that I can offer you, I would love to do that. But this idea of, of laying down my life or allowing Agrius, who much like the lovers before did not consent to this eternal in between this limbo state i i i can't do that i have something going on myself with my family here to also try and prevent wars we're all just trying to prevent wars so i would like to continue doing and you haven't killed me yet, so I like to think that that's an option. And if you let me go, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to do right by you and do right by this situation. And like I said, I will face judgment from afar. The I only will, way to do right by me is to restore my purpose. Without this, I have no purpose. What am I to do? Go you around and kill? And live in violence? I can do that. 
you said this wasn't even your choice. It How wasn't. You and you've taken, something? you've even taken that away from me. I have nothing left. Then rest. Go back. I can't rest. I am bound to this place. I and what when it's destroyed? Then I will be bound around and I will let my anger kill anything that passes within a hundred miles of this temple. You I'm could protect it by walking with us. I'm going to give Ptolemaeus a chance to say what he was going to say, too. Okay. I'm going to turn to the other Eidolon. And... And what of you? What would you be doing if the temple comes down? I am bound here as well, now. And you have... When you are volun... Your choice to volunteer for this. Feel no obligation to your partner at all <laughs> he's not my partner no i chose to be here after after my life was taken from me and she the head of the statue turns and looks up at the minotaur when crassus's army killed me and left my body and my brother's body lying in a field And I came here and saw the two on the altar. Peace and love that they would spend an eternity together. I chose at that point that I would defend this temple. You can leave now. I will talk to Lanathus. I will make a decision. And we will simply go find two people from the village. This village is fairly supportive of the temple. I'm sure we'll have volunteers. We'll have a lottery. They won't even have to make a choice. We'll just pick two with a throw of the lots. We are not walking like you. We do not have a choice. We are stuck here. Lots must be drawn from adults only. That is not your choice. It is the only way I will leave here without further violence. That is your choice. I can do this all day. You'd be surprised at my resilience as well. Uh, what is what is the most amicable way of parting? What can we do? I've made a mistake. I will own up to that. I'd like to try to rectify it. There are things that we don't want to or aren't willing to do, and there are things you don't want to and aren't willing to do. So can we can we find an agreement? The only, amicable way, the only amicable way it seems that would peace appease them is if we chose the two ourselves, then the children would be spared. There's going to be a voice that comes from the end of the stairwell from behind Ariana as the elder, somewhat battered, <laughs> has woken up. I have two here. I have the two responsible for starting the whole issue in the first place. This is not your concern. You have 
put yourself in what belongs to this temple in this village. Just leave and let us do our own. We're kind of really good at putting ourselves in the way of things. It's kind of our forte. Children are innocent. They shouldn't die for their mistakes. Um, Ariana's going to uh, grab the elder by the front of his thing. Look back at Eric's and say, we're not listening to him. Hyrex, Eryx, Eryx. Uh, Hyrex. Eryx, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're okay. we're not listening. He's not in charge. No. No. Wonderful. And she's just gonna plow him outside and put him back outside and put him <laughs> on his ass again. <laughs> all right. What about him? Then all you need is a woman. It's terribly heteronormative of you. <laughs> That's what they said. All right, that was directed at the Eidolons, not 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 Adrastos. <laughs> but with Adrastos' statement, because it was made out loud, Lanifus is going to say, "I really don't care." I think we've established that. It's a shame you're fighting for something you don't care that much about. I care about the situation. I care about maintaining what is supposed to be here. I care about serving Afara as I was placed here to do. I care about spending an eternity with no purpose because of you. You know why you were placed here for this? Because I was Afara's champion. Ah, well, that changes things, doesn't it? The blessing the gods have bestowed. What do you want, then? Just anyone you said? The best would be freshly killed so that their spirit has not moved away. We brought the body of your friend here because it had not yet traveled to the underworld. We had been watching for Athreos's river and it had not come. It's because it's not his time yet. All right. And um, Vara's going to walk out and go into the village. All right. What about Drastos is going to sit. He's going to put a javelin down. I'll follow And Vara. he's going to say, I don't owe this to you. None of them do. But as a show of good faith, until she returns with your sacrifices, I won't leave. And if she doesn't, then I won't leave. Agreed. Hyrax is going to leave because he's interested to see what Vara is going to do. All right. Also, he's going to cast his second level cure wounds on himself. <laughs> that's, a good idea. Oh, that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah I like that one. Um, as, as Vara walks past, um, Ariana's got like a, f has, has separated the kids who I'm assuming are still unconscious, has sort of like set them down on the grass and has like a foot on the old guy's chest and is just like, what do you want me to do with him? And Varl will just Temple keep walking. Yeah. She pushes a little harder, but stands. <laughs> and you Justice can tell, now that you've stayed. moved the children, you can tell the reason they're unconscious is they had both been knocked over the head, presumably by his staff. Uh, they'll each get a point of lay on hands. Okay. Make sure that they're both... Al are, are they alive? Yes. Okay. If, if anything, just leave the elder with the Drastos. He's staying behind just for a little bit. We'll be right along shortly. 
I can wait. All right. As you are headed out, Vara, you're going to hear you have one hour. It doesn't take that long to get to the village, right? No. Oh, okay. It's like right on the edge. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. I will stalk into the village and um, I don't have any kind of thaumaturgy, so I have gust of wind. So I would try to find somewhere high up to stand amidst the morning and, and whatever else. And I would kind of gust of wind, like battle, um, you know, rattle window frames and, and blow leaves and kind of create almost like a little tornado effect around me to try to get people's attention. Okay. I think that will get attention. There's no reason to uh, even roll persuasion on that one. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, just to be clear, who all went with Vara? Because I want to make sure who's still in the temple and who went. Tali and Hyra. Okay. Um. Good. Um. Good afternoon to you all. Well, not good necessarily. I come on more of a term, as you all are aware. I have wronged this village, this temple. I claim that. And the specters who are upholding peace and their duties in this temple need two new lovers. For the lovers that have been there are no longer present. They claimed it would be possible and likely that there would be two people of this village who would be willing to lay down their lives. I'd be happy to, with mine own hands, as a way to atone, I guess would be the word, though it is against my belief to do such a thing. If you are willing to also take up the duty to maintain this peace and then lie in eternity, from what I understand, as long as you are under the spell, you will not be in pain. In fact, you may not even be aware of your surroundings or know that you have died. But according to the specters who keep watch, you would be doing a great service that prevents war. I understand if no one is willing, but since it was stated it was possible there are willing volunteers, I wanted to ask. Otherwise, I will see to it that they receive someone, most likely myself. I need you to make a persuasion or, or performance, your choice. They're both bad, baby. <laughs> uh, can I? Since I'm around there, uh, can I give her an inspiration? Almost just a, a very reassuring kind of pat on the back before before she said anything. Of course. As a, What's your inspiration die nowadays? It's a D8. D8. Ooh. Well, that's good. I need it. I rolled. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a seven total. Well, I tried. Nope, you did a great job. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Once again, the roles are tracking with the narrative. <laughs> Someone <laughs> walked in the middle of a village and said, hey, I fucked up your temple. Does anybody want to help me fix it? I'll kill you. <laughs> anybody, anybody willing to die for my mistakes, please? <laughs> yeah, hey. Um, <laughs> yes. If, if, if. Can I can I see how bad this is going? Like like, uh, I would say I would say you could see it on the expressions of the people in the village. Uh, kind of a, a bit of shock, a bit of horror, a bit of what did she mean? She'll find somebody. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, suspicion <laughs> and uh, concern. Can I stealth away from behind her? I mean, Hyrex is probably going to see me, but I'm just going to walk into the village. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I, I assume my, she was in the myself, village. 
and everybody's yeah, there not, so not she's like, in like the tornado so. yeah like specifically walk around to the other side to see if there's okay. anybody that's out of out of her sight i guess okay so i'll just kind of like walk walk and instead of instead of going um stealthing if i could make a a, a deception check of of basically just kind of pretending like i'm gauging everybody's reaction to this by by kind of walking around the people and things like that okay just kind of a go unnoticed kind of a thing yeah exactly right uh performance performance okay performance is a little less but that is in uh 19 nobody cares what you're doing okay um i'd like to continue walking until i find someone that's a little bit more isolated okay while you're else. doing that i'm going to go back to the temple for a moment okay and the satyr is going to leave the statue and just come out in her spirit form and lean into adrastos's ear are you willing to stay with your fallen friend If the hour is up, but not before. Well, you... Not yet. You mentioned your death came at the hands of Crassus's army. Yes. Where did you live when your life was taken from you? Well, we lived in the Vale, but we traveled this way over towards the Four Winds Plateau, my, myself and my brother, we, we were just on a hunting expedition. He was showing me how to, to hunt and forage. And we, it's not unusual for to take a, a month as a, as a child and go do these things, you know, and learn of the world I and do. decide what you want to do. I understand. Crassus took a great deal from me, too. She is going to look up at the Minotaur. He's always felt really bad about it. I think that's why he followed me here and stayed. Who was the Minotaur to Crassus? He was one of his soldiers. And has he told you why Crassus did what he did? Because they're followers of Mogus. <laughs> no. Well, yes, but there's more than that. Well, I guess it hasn't mattered. Would you like to know how the gods betrayed you as well? What do you mean? In your life, did you know about a clan of Leonin called the Sun Claw? No. We were a proud tribe of Arescos, one of the few Leonin that revered the gods in our own way. We saw them as worthy adversaries more than beings to be appeased, because we saw their hu we saw the humanity in them, we saw the mortal laws, but the beauty in the gods. And so we went against King Bramaz's orders and revered them. And when a minotaur, bearing the symbol of Erebus, led an army to destroy my people, I thought it nothing more than the rage of a minotaur or the whims of a death god. I've come into some information recently. Crassus, the Broken Horn heard from an oracle that a great hero would rise from my clan, that a great hero would stand in his path, and that for the good of the gods, my clan had to be destroyed. 
we had done nothing wrong. We were the only Leonin and Oreskos who revered the gods, and yet, because of their whims, their folly, because of their petty disputes, three hundred souls were put to the sword. Of those three hundred souls, fifty were defenseless. Cubs. Children. It is likely you and your brother were killed for the same reason. If death and blood are the only way the gods can maintain peace, and he will stand up at this point, then they are not gods. They are weak, and you should be ashamed to follow them. But you should appreciate the goal of this place. Stop the gods fighting and having people fight their battles for them. And people die for the whims of the gods. It is only because I appreciate the worth of this place that I am willing to put my head to the altar. But only when the hour has passed and no willing supplicants have shown themselves. I but I will do this. You're willing to sacrifice others before yourself for a cause. I understand. No. I will not have you twist my words, Seder. I am willing to allow others to make a sacrifice they believe in. If no one is willing to, then I am willing to sacrifice myself for peace. Because I will not see another child go through what I went through, and I will not see my family, my clan, all that remains of the once noble Sunclaw suffer as I did. And if my death can save Ariana and Vara and Tikaros and Ptolemaeus, and yes, even Agrios, further pain, then it is an easy thing. Because unlike the gods, I do not force others to fight my battles, insurmountable as they may be. I solve my own problems. And then he'll sit back down. And I think you should know. I've asked Drac about why. Why he was hunting in the woods. And like most of us, he vividly remembers the moment that he burst forth from the woods. They were chasing someone. Someone with a child, I believe he said. He came through the woods in full run and swung his axe before he realized what I was and who I was. It was an accident. And that is why he has sat here to defend this place. But he only has two things he remembers. The sorrow for his axe and the anger for his axe before that. And if you make another axe pun, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not chat. to laugh because I'm, I'm trying to be like... <laughs> Because I'm trying I to be serious. It, like, no. I'm trying to be serious, but I can see out of the corner of my eye, and I can see Vara laughing. <laughs> <clears throat> and the worst of it is, after he hit me, and after he hit my my brother, and we both lie in the field. He said he tried. 
he tried to help me. But something else came along. Something else reached out like the night sky and pulled me away from him. And he attempted to hold on to me. You've seen him favor his arm. It ripped his arm off as he tried to hold on to my body as it was torn away. I don't know what gods, what creatures would have done this. I don't know why my body was important. And I'm not sure what became of me. All I know is what was left was me in a field. And I sat there and watched as my brother awoke and saw the blood and looked for me for days. When Athreos came, I hid. And then I came here. Because even as much as I've ever been pursued, I've never had a follower of Athreos make it here to find me. You fear the afterlife? I fear not knowing what is out there. And I found a purpose here. So I agreed to stay and commit to the protection of this temple, to its purpose, to those two beautiful people who lay on that altar at the front. I'm not sure what you're trying to appeal to me here. All you've told me is that the gods are indeed violent and horrible and tore the arm off of a minotaur that tried to help you. And yes, you have found purpose here, and I... Please... Don't think I don't appreciate that, or understand that. The reason I am unwilling to lay my life down now is because this temple has caused enough pain to my family. My death would only serve to make it worse. Then leave. Go. Take the body of, of your centaur friend. I don't care. Take yourself out of the business of this temple. All of your friends. It doesn't belong to you. This is not your concern. You have placed yourself in the midst of this. And I cannot leave until I see that it is finished. Much as you cannot leave because you have found a purpose here, my purpose is to help right wrongs, especially those I have had a hand in causing. And until that wrong is righted, I will not leave. And if that wrong is not righted, then I will become the solution. On that, you have my word. Then ask the children who did this sin if they're willing to pay for it. That's the one thing no one in your group has been willing to do, is take the people who are ultimately responsible and giving them the choice. You've taken the choice from everyone. You've taken it from us, you've taken it from them, you've taken it from the village. What right have you? You speak of someone acting as the gods. Is everyone responsible to your whims as well? You raise a valid point, spirit. Ariana, are the children awake? Are they? She looks uh, up from her you... sending stone because I'm sending something on my sending stone. Oh, okay. You laid on hands, so I'm going to say yes. Mm-hmm. Ask them if they're willing to die today. She'll look down at them. I assume they heard. Explain, them, explain to them why. 
<laughs> explain to them that they stole a pair of rings playing a game for children and now they must die for it. And look down at them, waiting for their response to that. Is that? Uh, are you going to repeat what he says, or are we going to go with? What I he say says? it loud enough that they can hear me. I was going to say if it's if I figure if I can hear it, they can hear it because I'm kind of outside near them. Maybe. <laughs> See, Adrastos, um, found it a little intense there, but I'm going to mm -hmm. give you uh, what what kind of uh, influence were you trying to make with that as you? I'm not stated this. I'm not trying to influence at all. I'm speaking the truth. I guess that would be persuasion. I'm not trying to intimidate them into it. Right. Or intimidate them. But I'm not trying to just... persuade them to do it. I'm just okay. asking them, here's the situation. Are you willing to do that? All right. And I'm also trying to impart to the spirit how foolish it is to ask children who stole a pair of rings to die for it. little girl looks up i really do 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 we have to i mean would this be and the boy's going to look over all this is our fault we did this and in someone's looks, opinion he specifically looks over at agrios In someone's opinion, I'm sure. It w it was my choice. I I did it. It was my idea. I I took the dare. But I I don't want her to. I don't want her to have to pay for my mistake. But and he will stand up and kind of look down. But if that's what's required, I'll I'll do it. Who dared you? Just some some kids. We were playing, and this this kid from outside the village came by. I I don't know who he was. She makes a pointed look at Tikaros and Adrastos, a child from without the city. And did you know this child? Well, no. Mmm, yes. Strange, interesting people masquerading as other strange, interesting people. As I said, I'm going to look at the Eidolons. As I said, this would have happened regardless. Something is in the works. And your way of life as minuscule as it may be, is about to be torn apart, regardless of what we do. We did not insert yourself into your problems. Your problems intersected with ours. It is a great weave. Clothus would be pleased. And I'm going to go back into the village where Ptolemy okay. is looking around. To we, see we've if been here talk. a bit. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I... We might have to wrap and come back to this because we're kind of running up against our time here. Uh, Ptolemaeus, Sorry. you're looking for somebody in the village, and uh, you were basically looking for anybody who wasn't uh, attending the the big meeting called by the tornado, right? So, so sort of like that. I, I I'm kind of it's either anybody that's not like in the vicinity that's like listening to Vara, or anybody that that if I could possibly make an insight check seem amicable to like even to the slightest of the idea of volunteering roll me an insight check oh boy okay that's oh no uh do i even need to bother to roll is i'm hearing the oh no of doom <laughs> it's a 13 it's still a 13 okay okay well that's a six okay so i will say uh Absolutely, you find someone, and oh, oh, odds on this, odds on this. Okay. Um, you haven't specifically met her because you were unconscious and, you know, away for a bit of it. But this is the young woman who came looking for the children. 
you may remember her from two sessions back. I think you had a brief interaction with her. She went off running after the children. And she is standing on the side and just kind of wringing her hands. I've met her. I've actually met her. She was the one yeah. that, was, that was asking for it, for sure. Um, I'll just go around next to her and just... You know, the Eidolons, the ones that are the spirits that guard the temple, wanted the children to be there instead. I understand. I, I would take their place if I could, but there's only one of me. We... I just... Would you protect them? Please keep them safe. The children will see no harm from the temple any longer. The chief is there. We've only really needed one. The village You're telling me that he's willing to sacrifice himself. <laughs> that would be a first. No, not necessarily, but it is partially his responsibility as village shelter, if you would think of it that way. You are very strong for this, if you do so. I would do anything to protect the children of this village. I always have. And you still will continue to do so. The wars will not touch this land. The rage of the Eidolons will not touch this village. You will be their eternal guardian in that sense. I don't want the children to know. Let them think I just went off into the woods or something. Can you do that for me? The children, unfortunately, are there, but we will figure something out on that on that end. I can. And if if you can, I know it's a lot to ask. Seal the temple so no one can come in and do this again. We have a few strong people that could figure something out on that end as well. I don't think the spirits will like it, but... But the, as long as the temples stand, the spirits are happy. And she will take the pack that she was carrying and just set it down onto the ground. Okay, then. Follow me. Right, and she will follow you. And as I walk over, I'll just kind of walk past Tavara and just nod and and show her basically the, the woman that's coming along. Kara, we might need you to go on ahead and make sure the children don't see her come back, come go towards the temple. What is your name, by the way? Unnamed NPC number three. All right. <laughs> Such make a beautiful sure, name. <laughs> make sure maiden number three doesn't actually... <laughs> make sure they, they don't cross paths. I actually do have a name. I just have it written back, and I have to grab my notebook to go look. Of course. <laughs> it's it's been a lot. I name all of them. I just can't remember the names half the time. Not 
not to be a creep can i can i read their lips while they have this conversation no i'm just kidding i'm not doing that with a 24 perception sure why not yeah uh well technically i have a feat that specifically says i can read lips but i gotcha of course of course you do If anything, maybe you could help prep the children. I'll lead her to the temple straight away, so Adrastos isn't waiting. Okay. Oh. Her name's Kalea. I looked it up. Kalea. Great. Great. Right. Perfect. Weird way to pronounce unnamed NPC number three. I know, you know, the spelling. It's the same spelling. What, what are you talking it, about? Yeah. <laughs> the U is silent. Yeah, there's a lot of silence. Stuff in them. Ah, um, I see. I should have anticipated you were going to ask her name, but I didn't even think of it. I'm just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Trying to be respectful. Gee. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, dead person. Who cares? Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, on the walk over, you know, can I, I don't really have any, like, commune with the gods, but is there a way for, especially, I've been quite pious <laughs> with my I antics. know, I want that bitch so, <laughs> so bad. I'm like, let me oh, just I'm, fucking I'm, talk I'm, to I'm, them. I'm no, scoring perhaps, piety up over here, so. <laughs> so perhaps maybe can Athreus give some guidance of some kind? Is there a way for me to commune with it? Is there a temple here that we could stop by if I still have the, the hour There is left? the only temple in this village. Is that one? The temple okay. of the dead lovers. Guafara. May may I ask them something? The sure. Eidolons. Of course. Who who are the gods involved in this peace treaty? If it's Acreos and, and Zetessa, Acreos and Zetessa, I would assume Eros is involved. Yes. And Afara. And Karametra, right? Oh, wait. What? Afara. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Well, he's in timeout right now. And by the way, um, you do have a token of Athreos. So it does. Yeah, can I do something with that? <laughs> um, if you really want to, that's up to you. Tell me what you. How do. many coins was I given? Because uh, I think the, the one, problem is I think I used some the golden well, ones. I think you're confusing coins. I'm referring to the one that the priestess, who was the mother of Dracius's son gave you yes i was given that one okay there i have so many currencies all right so, I, so I've, I've got two revival and i'm coins. looking back through like got different foreign different exchange names. set up you know i've got two i've got Bank two of you, you, coins have you have the minted you have the coins and then i have the minted, minted coins yeah. from yes. the okay and then i have a single what did she say when she gave that to me if you oh. find yourself in deep need when all other options have run out. That's a paraphrase, but yeah. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to take that coin out and kind of I'm gonna be like twiddling it. I I know like some magician coin tricks with all my little coins, um, and uh, I'm gonna to talk to Kalei on the walk over. Um, so you're willing to lay down your life for this temple? I'm no, but I'm willing to give my life for eternity to war and peace the gods and protect people i mean look what the spirits have done just so far imagine if if the temple's no more imagine if angered gods imagine the fighting and i don't want my i want my children to to survive to live do you know what's been happening 
in other towns, in other places. The destruction no. and no, why changes in the waterways and monsters. What hasn't reached this village? Well, people pass by, but not not many people leave the road. They come this way. I mean, it's not exactly a. There's not like a large sign out there. It's sure. We're a quiet place. Hidden in the trees. It serves a, our purpose. At this moment, I'll just I'll I'll kind of stop the uh, the trek, and I'll just be like. Kara, you're going to have to move a little bit ahead and let the children know. It'll probably be easier to talk to them than me talking to them at least. At least to make sure that they don't know. I don't, um... Well, sitting in silence after a very unsuccessful speech gave me some time to think, so. Uh, did a lot of talking, but not a lot of thinking. So now that I've processed, I am, um, I don't know if anyone needs to die. I'm, um, I'll move ahead, but uh, just give me some time, will you? I believe Children are best kept with their parents. Um, and Vara will go ahead and move ahead and enter back into the temple. Okay. Hello. And both Lanathos and Materia will look over your direction. Yes. And by the way, you see Ariana outside still standing on the chest of the elder. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. I'll leave it as it is. Um, I have been thinking after a lot of talking. No one really came forth. We had one volunteer, but I don't, it still just doesn't feel right. And I feel like we're sitting here bickering and going in circles. And I have something that has been gifted to me. And um, only meant to be used in dire circumstances, but I just, I don't know. I feel it might be right that if, if there is this concern about purpose and the gods and my trust and faith in Athreos and, and this belief in Afara that we should talk to them in some way or, or seek guidance. I have this coin and I'll hold it up and see if either of them know what it is because Vara doesn't even fully know what it is. So They're just kind of going to look at you, you know, look at it and go, a, a coin, What what good is that? I don't know, but I'm hoping it'll do something. And what are you going to do with it? Uh, oh, I wasn't given like a little, <laughs> say a chant, spin around. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think she would just hold it close to her heart mm -hmm. and just kind of. Kind of focus on it. I focus on it and you know i i've i've done this act for you and if, if this is a way of you helping me or speaking with me i desperately need guidance to know that i mean this has kind of rattled her faith a little bit she's staying strong in her conviction outwardly but inwardly she's like <laughs> things are not great so um this is almost like a final call of like please just i need your help or else this is going to be bad as you hold this coin to your heart and just pour your feelings into it and your faith you hear a voice one one 
And then you hear the sound of what appears to be running water. And then slowly, water begins to trickle out of the stones and widens. And the walls of the temple change into almost like caves. And the water deepens. And you find yourself standing along with everyone else in this temple, on the edge of a river. And in the distance, you see a cowled figure using a pole to bring a boat your direction as it navigates the river Tartix and stops in front of you. And this skeletal hand unfurls and places its hand out for you for the coin. Atrios is standing in front of you. So those of us who were in the temple can see this too, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'm technically not. Can <laughs> you I see, see it? The, the river door? extends okay. into the distance. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. You are all standing on the edge of the river. I, I don't know where I am because last I was mentioned, I was watching things happening. And as far as I know, I'm still just the, watching. This things river is I going guess. to extend all the way off into the horizon. Very well. And he sticks his hand out for the coin, Var. I will do a deep bow. Or, or whatever feels appropriate, some kind of curtsy type thing to show reverence. Uh, jaw kind of a gape, and will place it in his hand. And when you do, he takes it, and you see as he flips it between his fingers and is just staring at it and looking at it. And he holds it tight. And then he looks around, and he sees the three Eidolons. And he raises his staff and slams it into the ground. And the three of them are drawn in spirit form and just sucked into the boat where they are all seated at the back. And he'll look at the temple. And he will reach down and place a finger underneath your chin. Lassie. And he will turn and begin to row back up the river, taking the souls to the underworld. And as he goes away and disappears over the horizon, the river slowly begins to recede, and the temple reforms under your feet. And one by one, the candles begin to go out in the temple. And you hear the cracking of stone. And you see the pillars as cracks begin to run down. The roof will probably collapse at any moment. What are you going to do? Oh. I um I think Vara would want to stand in this spot in this moment for as long as she possibly could. I think she would even um I'm taking a look at my spells if I um let's see. I think not expecting it to necessarily keep everything off, she would create a warding wind around her that would kind of further extinguish any candles that haven't been extinguished yet and just kind okay. of let the temple fall around her. 
kind of, you know, very excited about this, but also understanding that she could have potentially made a very bad mistake and wants to feel the consequences a little bit. So she, yeah, so she'll kind of create a a, a wind around her to protect her, but it, it, things could definitely still penetrate it, especially if it's rock. Address this, you had a comment? Just gonna do what I do. I'm going to see, I'm going to go to leave, see that Vara isn't leaving. Not an idiot, know why she's not leaving. See the wind and just, walk over and kind of umbrella her with my shield. Like, all right, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take this together, but I'm not letting rocks fall on your head. Fine. Uh, can I, I'll have the old man stand up and I'll push him so that he can run. Um, and then I'll pick up the two kids and run with them. Okay. As the water recedes, is anybody paying attention to Agrius's body? Oh, right. Yeah. I will. I'll, sorry, I'll push the kids. Tikaros, do you want to help me? <laughs> yeah, no. like all of this time, I wanted to say that Tikaros would have been like kneeling down beside Agrios, okay. and she'll be completely out of sorts, and she'll just be like, uh, like just prestidigitationing the dirt off his face. She'll be like doing battle braids in his hair. She would have just been like in this weird zone this whole time. Go is ahead, there no, any water like you said there's water right while mm -hmm. all this was happening the river yes do i have a water skin <laughs> you want to try and capture some of the river yes products? go for yes, it yes i do that's wonderful okay okay uh, she'll grab some of that all right tikaros i'm going to back up a little bit before Real quick. yes go ahead is that a bad thing is that am I uncomfortable with that? Really, I don't like, know. That's uh, I've Did never you had a player want Did to you do see that. It? So. I probably didn't notice. Okay. Also, also, Vara, if you give any indication to address this that you don't want him there, he will give you space. No, she'll let it happen. Okay. I'm, I just wanted. I didn't want to ruin your character moment. So. No, 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 no. Okay. So as the Athreos is taking the raft off into the distance. Tikaros, you suddenly feel someone kneeling beside you, but over you a bit, and it is Athreos. And seeing that you're doing this and, you know, stroking the hair and everything, he will help you clean up and get, and then he will place his hand on your forehead. And he says, you must let it go, Serenity. Go back to be yourself. And when he stands up, the body of Agrios is gone, and he fades no. and is back in the boat. No. I just mm -hmm. sit there completely stunned and don't move. All right. I, if, if Ariana probably pushes the kids away, turned around, sees this, him disappear, Tikaros not move, moment of panic, grabs Tikaros if she doesn't fight too much. <laughs> She'll mm -hmm. allow it. Anyone else? Oh, once she's pretty sorry. Once she's pretty far away, she'll just like follow the ground, hugging Tikaros. Okay. If <clears throat> if the uh, if the rumbling comes in, and then you could see the two kids coming uh, come down. Um, Ptolemaeus, Ptolemaeus, I'll just I'll just look over at Kalea and just be like, "Go to your children. You're you're no longer needed, I suppose." No, I just kind of. As long as they're the children, I'll back. always be needed. And she'll smile. Yeah, and, and I'll just calmly walk, continue walking forward towards the the ongoing wreckage. All right. Any 
anyone else? All right. The temple will continue to collapse around you. Uh, Vara, you can hold it up for a bit. And, you know, I'm going to assume you're just inside the doorway a little bit. And so it's going to kind of collapse. You see as the, the altar is crushed under the weight of the stone around it. And it's almost as if the mountain is closing in and closing itself over it. And when it reaches that last part where you're at, you feel pressure as almost as though something is pushing to move you out of the way so that it can finish closing. But it's not forcing you, but you feel the pressure to move. I'll meet the pressure with um, one of the, uh, the nameless minted coins. I'll kind okay. of I'll, I'll I'll kind of where the pressure is coming from, I'll kind of offer it up, see if something takes it, like some kind of what would you force. like to have what would you like to have happen? Um I I think ideally she wanted to put it on the altar and so I, I ideally um through through combination of the gust of wind <laughs> and this force, it it manages its way to the altar, and she will see that and and go where the leave the temple. Okay. And she'll off she'll she'll grab Adrastus by like the elbow and kind of, <laughs> okay, I'm walking, so you may walk with me. <laughs> Don't stay in here, please. <laughs> it wouldn't. He would let you be the last one out. Great. As you make your way out of it, there's more rumbling. The mountain is, is not done with whatever it's going to do, but the ground is continuing to morph and mold, and it does this for some time and when it finally settles where the opening to the temple was there is a wall and engraved into that wall is a picture of the altar with the two bodies veiled underneath it And above it, engraved into the wall, serenity breeds death and darkness. And there's a coin embedded in the wall underneath it. I think that's where we'll stop for tonight.